It's been a long time coming, but today I spend 200 days in Baldur's Gate 3. More like 200 sleeps, but in this video I go on to finishing all of Act 3. Finding myself extremely emotional with all the big choices I would make, exploring most, if not all, of Baldur's Gate, and turning me and my companions into the best looking squad with the equipment and dyes. So without further ado, I spent 200 days in Baldur's Gate 3, and here's what happened. Hitting you with a bit of nostalgia right out of the gate, I had to backtrack and officially defeat the first boss, which was Kethrak. Oh yeah, and this time, I actually saved Jahira. Because if you notice my other playthrough, my first time playing through this game, she, she might have died, and apparently she was a pretty big friend to a friend. Like, she, she joined your camp, she became an ally, companion. Didn't know that. The general will call that a tactical retreat, I'm sure. But you have him on the run. That thing he summoned was illicit. Follow it below and find him before he has a chance to subdue the Night Song again. Something I should add is how I switched up my class a bit from using weapons to now being open fisted. It changed everything. Well, we do get that bonus one once per turn, so it doesn't make sense not. Okay. We're just gonna kill him first. Kill him first, focus this guy. We'll focus the guy behind. Oh, 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 oh I love it. Ooh, there's the bone man. We gotta keep the songbird alive somehow. Alright, beginning. This is us. Oh. oh dear. Let's just punch him, you know? Let's just punch him good. Maybe we win, because my punches are hella strong. What the fudge? Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. It's Myrtle's present. That's fine. I'll take it. 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 Frightened. Can you still fight? Or are you frightened, frightened? I'm going to stand down here so he doesn't do that thing on me, hopefully. Um, we'll see. Oh, I definitely got this. I definitely got this. I definitely got this. He's going to attack a Starian. He frightened, though. That's okay. I can't use potions. Oh, you're still alive with one HP. <gasps> oh, if you were to go to hit him, that would have been the perfect finisher. Yeah, I know. You're incubating. Da, 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 da. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? I don't think you're ready. <laughs> Finally! Oh, my God. Oh my god, no free lunches, baby. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, wait, let's get the done. That's right, Catherine. Impossible. Death cannot take me. I am its master. Looks like it's taking you. Hear me. Nothing. I am forsaken. You. You have no idea what you've done. Uh, Isabel. Oh my god. But he's dead, dead. Yo. You good? The rats! Together, we have crushed him! Brave! What the f Yo, this chick crazy! Uh, hold on, let me go get some, some goodies here. What do, you, what do you have on you? What do you have on you? Oh, cutscene. Oh, the crystal, right. In death, the body is cooling, but energy radiates from the stone. Remarkable, truly. And now the picture comes together. The absolute is neither God nor man. It is the elder brain you saw, held here by those three against its will. The... 
I know Lord Enver Gortash, an arms dealer and a slaver. He is a worshipper of Bane, the god of tyranny. The other is a mystery to me, but the way she spoke, it is most likely she follows Baal, god of murder. Look at these guys, man. Which means the Absolute is a front for the gods of death, and our enemies are chosen of the dead three. The dead three? Wait, what? There's so much information going on right now. Who is the dead three? Bane, Baal, and Merkel. The Tyrant, the Assassin, and the Necromancer. They are known to pick from their most devout followers, a Chosen, granting them incredible powers to achieve. I mean, we just killed Merkel, right? So, that's two out of three. There's two more. I mean, that's pretty good odds so far. Didn't you? What the fuck was he doing down there? Is all of this because of him? The Tadpole, the Absolute. How? I'd never have protected a Bayonite even a decade ago. I looked after that fucker with my life. I trusted him. He gave me away to Zariel without a second thought. And now he's looking to ruin the entire Sword Coast. He has to die. And I'm gonna be the one who kills him. I'm down there, all right? You take it easy. can't get away with what he's done to me, to us. He won't get away with it. All oh, the music's playing. Helen. Ooh, there we go. Oh, look at that. Listen. My love, you were dead. I saw your body. I'm here. And, and so are you. And my father, he, he can't hurt us any longer. Oh, look at him. <laughs> oh, pick her up. Yeah. Oh, I love doing that. That's awesome. Just pick him up and just like, whoa, oh, put me are. down. Now you will leave us. We must take succor in one another's bodies and words. Aelin. We'll see you later. <laughs> I like her. Damn, she forward. Okay. I must suck the sweet nectar out of your mm, cheeks. Just before heading to sleep here, Shadowheart and the Songbird had something important to talk about. You know this sensation. She wants you to see whatever is about to be revealed. Ooh, I like this. Open your mind to the... Th oh, I'm opening my mind. My third eye. Boop. Open. Let's do it. Your mind joins with Shadow Hearts. Something pulls at you both. I want to see these... Elsewhere. Like the story. The companions I've been with. Oh, is that Char? Oh. Person important? What? Who was that man? You already know. Did you not see <gasps> yourself in him? Do you not recognize your own <clears throat> blood? Goosebumps. My father. Oh! That was him. That is him. He lives still. And your mother, too. No. It can't be. I'm an orphan. And who told you that? Your adoptive family? You are not a Oh my god. You were young, impressionable. They took you because they wanted to break and remake you. But you are a child no longer. You are a woman, one who knows what must be done. My parents. I need to save them. Thank you. Oh my god. A debt repaid. You returned my life unto me. Now go and claim your own. Oh, it looks so good. 
Wait, is it one-handed? Oh, please be one-handed. Oh, it's one-handed. Sorry for that big gasp. It's one-handed. Yeah, oh, it looks so good. <laughs> and it looks like my first legendary because it's orange, right? Yeah, legendary. Oh. As I awoke to a new day, Shadowheart was being a little odd saying she had something to take care of. But before that, there's one thing I need to see to. Oh, oh. What's that? What is it? Yeah, tell me, what is it? You will see for yourself soon enough. Just leave it with me. Oh, she's gonna give me a kiss on the cheek. Mwah. Thank you. Oh. That said, it was time to finish up two more things. The first location being the morgue area for a little more experience. I am going the right way. I think. I was doing more damage than I thought possible and truly had me enjoying the monk class once again. So while finishing up the fight, I ran into my next problem. That might be worth a look. Um, is that normally supposed to happen, guys? This next fight went from being hard to now easy as I went around slapping my foes. The zombies really didn't know what hit them. Inside the deepest parts of the morgue now, a problem I had from start to finish was dealing with the Starian's jump. The best thing I had at the time was a misty step that would save my life consistently. All I had to deal with now was punch, slash, and slay some big old green boogers in a pool of acid. Be honest. <gasps> what do you think of She has white hair now? What? When, when did she get white hair? Oh, like I did. What? When did it happen? <laughs> I absolutely love it. I'm not even kidding. Well, I'm glad someone does. Perhaps I'll get used to it. I have a lot to get used to right now. Oh my now. god, the white hair! That's so cool. I we saw this too when people are flying. I was like, when did she like? I didn't even. There was no cutscene or anything, so I'm not sure if I skipped it or if I missed it or what. But I honestly did not see anything of her dyeing her hair. Being one step closer to Baldur's Gate, my psionic detector started to go off crazily. Oh god, here they are. Holy we'll crap, that kind of scared me. Kill I'll kill her with this. This guy will kill her. Get a little stun off. 99%. Hey, killed him. Hold on, I'm gonna go kill this one. Because this person's gonna rally. Oh, wow, we're looking dead, aren't we? Oh my god. Oh, that's boy. That's crazy. Luckily, I have this. With the path now clear as day, I was ready to take my leaf to the next journey ahead. Like an Act three, three and finding the nether stones. Etheric is defeated. The path ahead clear. Here we go. You should be elated. The sight of the land you leave behind does nothing to alleviate your sorrow. That does. We're going to Baldur's Gate. However deep your pain. Halson! Oh my God. Cannot compare to Halson's. Wait, what did I do to Halston? He looked at me sad. Sora, what? Oh, look at it! <laughs> this dude again. Evil guy. Sergeant. If you are here, I presume Wern's Rock is secure, and preparations for my inauguration are complete. No, Lord Gortash. We were interrupted. Another quake in the lower city. More severe this time. So you came cowering to my chambers? I'm flattered, Sergeant. But even I cannot command natural phenomena to cease. Forgive me, my lord, but there is panic in the streets. The people are afraid. Perhaps mm -hmm. the people would be calm if you kept your nerve. I expect better from the flaming fist than to run scared from a slight tremor in the earth. Get back to your duties. Duties, duties, duties. Patrolling and saluting and following and bowing and scraping. Yes, what is sir, happening? No, sir. Rip and cut your throat, sir. Your plan is falling apart, Lordling. Give me a reason not to cut you to ribbons. Control yourself, Orin. We need to focus on reuniting the stones or the brain will break free. These quakes are just the start. Neither of us expected the prison bearers to be honest, to didn't think it was actually her. <laughs> we'll be traveling to the city. Let's make sure we give them a Baldurian welcome. I itch to be you. To split your skin. To see your skull shine in the light. Little tyrant. 
Lucky for you, I harvested a whole family of living flesh in Rivington at High Sun. They will sate my blade thirst tonight. Whoa, she can just like tomorrow. You said? And tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow. My blades will thirst again. She crazy. She's so crazy. <laughs> All right, here we. I don't know where I am. The two lovebirds. Aww. <laughs> Look at them. Where are we going? I didn't see anything. Beyond the campsite, the city waits in uneasy silence. One sleep away. Hmm, <laughs> getting goosebumps. <laughs> Oh, that's so good! Yo, look at this! Wait, if we zoom in a little... There we go. Look at all of that! Oh my god! Oh, oh, oh my god! Baldur's Gate is huge! Like, it goes all around and... What the heck? Okay. What was a nice sleep quickly became a fight to the death. Voice of the Absolute. Whoa. The reckoning is upon us. What's the box? Oh, what is happening? Whoa! We're under attack. Help me. What is happening? What? Oh my god, I didn't even realize I had to do escape. Okay. That's fine. Keep going. And then we're just going to do the rest right there. And then all you do is click. Why? Oh my god, it wouldn't click the floor. <laughs> oh, we made it, guys. Oh my god, we almost died too. Jesus. Just from that. What is that? Oh. That is cool. That thing's not going to hold together much longer. Who are those two? Oh no, the Githy Yankee controls. This is so cool! I feel like I'm watching a movie. Oh my god, look at this! The pose! They're still watching. Like, really? Oh, oh, let's see it explode. Oh. <laughs> this definitely wasn't something I expected or thought I would find out this quickly. Whoa, 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 what is this? Holy crud. Oh my god. So we've got to help those intellect devourers, I guess. Oh, you think you're cool, huh? You think you're so cool. Uh oh, he, this person's awake. Um. Of course they run away. Of course. Before you do anything, I am your ally. I don't know. You are in danger. Oh shit. A mind flayer. The Gith Yankee is the source of our protection against the Absolute. I must subdue him, or everything we've worked towards is lost. Don't let my form deceive you. I am 
I'm the one that's been protecting you. Oh, damn. What do we do? I am the one that came to you in your dreams. Help me. Mm, oh, God. We can't believe him because he's a mind flare. Like, of that nature, you just can't. Do it now! Now! Uh, join church. Together, we can turn the tide. Helping the protector. Why not? She, you think you can match me? Oh. Stop, stop, stop. I was kidding. Um, hold on. Actually, I'm going to stun you if I can. Perfect. Beautiful. Knock you down. <laughs> or kill you. Oh, boy. 54 damage, finally. Thank you, man. Here we go. Control him, please. Control him. I don't know if this is a good thing. I'm going to be honest. I feel like they were actually, like, on our side, but we're just, like, doing something. That was too close. I have no idea. We'll see. We'll see. Don't look at me like that. I am. I am a mind flayer. Yes. Without me, you would be a slave to the absolute. Of all the things to be indebted to, a bloody mind flayer. An adventurer. I came from Baldur's Gate. Though I was never one to be constrained by circumstance, I longed for more. That longing brought me to Moonrise Towers on a search for treasure. Oh, it looks so peaceful. To a colony of mind slayers who caught me, changed me into what I am now. Dang, that oof. Oh, ho, ho. For years, I served the Elder Brain, the one you know. As the absolute. I was a thrall like any other, but I was fortunate. I broke free and started a new life in my old city. I had the good fortune to meet Duke Stelmay. We formed a partnership, and through her, I became the governing force behind the Knights of the Shield, the largest mercantile operation oh my in the world. This is a story. People refer to me. As the Emperor. Such was my influence. Though of course they had no idea what I really was. My needs were sated. I was happy for a while. Until my true nature was discovered by the tyrant himself, Lord Gortash. He tore me from my home and brought me back to the brain where I became a slave once again. A slave he continued to call the Emperor. The name was intended as a slight, to remind me of the heights from which I fell. But I have grown fond of it. It encapsulates well who I've become. Oh my gosh. This is heavy stuff. <laughs> yeah, this, this, see, this is the one that kind of turned me off. Like, I get you had to survive, but really? Rather them than potential future allies. Like you, we fought to tame Prince Orpheus, the son of Gith herself. His power has been the source of your continued protection against the voice of the Absolute. The power to disrupt hive mind communication. It is the same power that enabled Orpheus, his mother, to bring about the fall of the Elithid Empire eons ago. A power she passed on to him and that I leveraged for you. When Orpheus' mother left, a usurper took her place. Vlakith declared herself queen of the Githyanki. Vlakith wanted his power, but Orpheus rose against her, and so she sealed him and his honor guard within this prison. Bound by infernal chains, Orpheus could never leave. Bound by duty, his guard never would. They were close to breaking my home on that prince. And if they had succeeded, we would be lost. I kind of wanted to see that then. Huh. You have embraced your potential enough that you could help me eliminate them. Alone, Orpheus will be much easier to control. But look at this. Look at this beautiful magicness of stuff that's happening. The orb is breathing and then it comes back together perfectly. 
It looks so good, and then, oh, just everything about this is so good. With a new morning here and being able to give all my companions some levels, I was more than excited to start this next part of my journey. Oh, sorry, and what's up? Baldur's Gate is right over the hills. And so is Cazador, attended by devils and spawn alike. A grand ceremony to honor one exalted vampiric master and elevate him to an unfathomable station. Look at all of these people. So many. So lively. This is like the Grove, but like, oh my god. Just have so many bigger. Whoa, what is this? The fudge? Benji! Stinks of cheese. Between his piggy toes. I haven't showered yet. Yeah. What in the hell is all of this? A necessity, good sir. The Steel Watch loves pretending sweet Rivington doesn't exist. So we have decided to protect you, dear patrons. <laughs> no need to thank us. You'll be allowed in once I've done this batch. Next! Hello, hello, and welcome to the Circus of the Last Days. The finest extra planar circus there is. Who is this guy? <gasps> A circus! Can we go? <laughs> yes, we can go. Let's do it. Is now time for a circus? Of course it is. I'd love to enter the circus. Let's do it. Not a problem, dear patron. Benji just has to check if you're a vicious murderer. Benji? No like. Oh, well, that's a first. Usually I'd allow you in, but in these times, I can take no chances. Oh, uh, forgive me. <laughs> I must have uh, misspoken. That's right. Welcome to the Circus of the Last Days. All right, let's Have do it. Have fun and be sure to catch the star of our show. Circus of the Last Day. I'm going inside. Whoa, Zara the Mummy? Mm. What the fuck? <laughs> mm. mm -hmm. Try to interpret her hand movements? Let's do it. You do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it. You realize she is miming putting on face paint. She has them to sell. A cobby? Hello? Approach! Ugly one! What? Excuse me? I'm kind of ugly. Not ugly, okay? You're very loud. Yes! Behold! A cobby's wheel of wonders! Spin! Uh, let's spin the wheel. I'd like to spin it. Let us see if you have luck's favor. You better believe I got Lux flavor. Oh, dang it. What I get, what I get, what I get? Alas! No jackpot for you, ugly one. Working my way into the cellar here, I was about to meet a Disney character in Baldur's Gate 3. Wait, whoa, 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 that was my amulet talking. Valeria, Mr. Giannis. Oh, it's Giannis! Why does that sound familiar? Oh, it's so cute. They got a friggin' voice actor for this flying creature. Oh my goodness. This place is so... There's so much to do. Oh my god. There was still a bunch of things I'd missed in the cellar, including these bandits about to get a beating. Oh, we got people to fight. Sick. Let's do this. And then we get the punch. Pow. Oh, and we still have like this. We still have the stun in that, which is awesome. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Oh, he's getting stronger and stronger. I love it. And then we're going to kill you. Look at this. Got two more actions. This is sick. Boop. And punch again. Oh, okay. I see you. I see you. Bum, 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 bum. Look at us go, man. These creatures are weirdos. While working my way back to the crypts I found, something was about to come alive. Why do you keep laughing? Oh, well, it's the... Yeah, it's like... Look at that. Can we do it? Possess... Oh my god! Look at that. We got the body possessed by the dude. <laughs> Honored Shira. This is so weird. Her spirit has fled, and her body but merely a husk. <laughs> With the death of Catherick looming over Baldur's Gate, I was about to be greeted by someone unexpected. Hello, sir. Uh, Got a blade in him? Come to finish the job. Uh, no.
picked the wrong fight. Ugh. I gave the bastard something to cry about, though. Ugh. By the gods, it hurts. Help me, please. Try to heal him. What do you want me to do? You're beyond saving. I'm sorry. Prod the man's wound. See how much pain he's in. Oh my. It's too late for that. No potion or spell can fix this. <sighs> A realist? I like Get it. Get this blade out of me. Use it. Kill me. Kill me now. That's it. I'm ready. This is... Oh. I think he felt that. Look away, kids. Oh no, he's sleeping forever. That's the best you can do. So weak. What the fudge? He is undead. He's transforming? Oh! Oh my god! Orin! I think. Holy crap! So, you're the lick spittle who crushed the Bone Lord's thrall. <laughs> Hi, it's nice to meet ya. Oh my god, this is cool. Begging, sniffing for our stones. Gortash won't like that. A throat his black hand can't choke the spit from. He will sniff out your mercies, drag them forth, and use them to dress his atrocities. When you find the Lordling, tell him Orin is watching. <laughs> Part of me here really thought there was going to be a fight, but this one would be just up ahead. Are you serious? I am serious, yup. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pacifist in Baldur's Gate. <laughs> Nobody's leaving this place alive, cook. You, yo, you a bill. Oh, we're killing you. We're killing you now. Why couldn't we just not fight? You know you're gonna lose. Like, why even try, hmm? Also, this mage is like really bad. <laughs> Fireballs and magic missiles. I don't know, man. I don't know. There we go. It glows, and we have the extra armor. Nice. This is ho ho the corpse grinder. That sounds awesome. Continuing my adventure forward, it seemed the game wasn't done greeting me with some lovely people. Hey! First time I'm seeing one of these draconic, like, people. Look at that. That's so cool. <laughs> oh, I love that. You look awesome, sir. Next, I was about to learn quickly how intimidating the Steel Watchers really were. Whoa! Look at this thing! The Steel Watcher? What the fudge? That looks so sick. Halt! By orders of Lord Gortash, refugees are no longer allowed in the city. Turn around. Uh, no, we're going in. Your parasite stirs. From the construct, you feel connection. Ooh, connection. Resonance. I don't know if that's good. Not just yet. State your business. Behind the Watcher's gaze, a presence awakens. You are seen. You are known. Better let me through. Oh. My engine, it's almost, I don't know, buzzing. Buzzing? Like it's paying attention. This is big. The party's prior uh -oh. transgressions are reflected in its stare. As witnessed by the cult's ever alert scrying eyes, it has heard the howls of slaughtered goblins. It knows the cold walls of Moonrise Towers. And the cultists who fell there. The Watcher speaks directly into your mind with a voice like poisoned honey. You are marked for special treatment. Not simply an enemy of the people, but an enemy of the absolute. Oh boy, here we go. Come quietly. Eat this, you pile of junk! Villains, we got past the thing. We didn't need to get captured. Woo! Wait, is this Baldur's Gate now? No, this is the Worms Crossing. Okay. Between all the new stuff I saw and people I met, I needed to take a load off. And would you look at that? Just what the doctor ordered. You came. I'm so pleased. You can never tell who's going to get cold feet. So, now that you're here, what next? 
next. An experience no one else here will give you. A chance to be embraced in the dark. But what that means is up to you. So, what can I do for you? A tender touch? Some sensory stimulation? In the darkness, you can feel hands moving over your body. Touching. Squeezing. Caressing. Your body is such a treat. Her hands slip under your clothes, running down your chest, your stomach, between your legs. You lie back and feel her lips on your skin, leaving a trail of gentle kisses as her hand pushes further. Wow. Someone's enjoying themselves. I'm sure how long your time together lasted, but it was long enough. By the end, you felt like you were floating in the dark, utterly at peace. Just before leaving the finest of establishments, there was someone in the distance who looked familiar? Well, another case closed, another bottle open! Huzzah to Valeria! <laughs> this guy is drunk. Hang on a sec. <laughs> I recognize that face. Look at this dude. You were talking to Yanis after I left the temple. I bet she's put you up to something. Mm, afraid so. I found new evidence, Investigator. Why must you busybodies insist on interrupting a perfectly good night? <sighs> I know that look. You remind me of Devella. Fine! If you doubt my conclusions, out with it. What have you found? Baal plot. You as well. Devella's been harping on about Baal for months. Fancies herself something of an expert. I assumed it was just a bunch of conspiracy codswallop and fear mongering. But she's been unusually insistent about this one, even for her. <sighs> Fine. I'll bite. What's your theory? I am an investigator, you know. But I'm off the clock. And this is Devella's pet project. Since you seem to be on an obnoxiously similar wavelength, why don't you seek her out? With a beautiful day ahead, there was something I started doing lots of. Stealing. Stealing food, stealing potions, stealing just about anything and everything. This is what my inventory eventually looked like. Following a new quest line, this would take me into a hidey hole that looked way too small to fit in. This wasn't even Baldur's Gate yet, and I found myself lost at every turn. This next part in Act 3 was about to be the biggest twist in my story. You must hear me, devil. I will do whatever it takes, give you anything you ask. There is only one thing in this world. Oh, wait, it's I Raphael. Died. Oh, dang. Hello. You do not have it. And you never will. What does he need? You must help me, Raphael. For the sake of my people. Hush now, Voss. These guests may not know it yet, but they want the same thing that you do. And unlike you, they have something of value to offer in return. Whatever you discuss with this devil, I must hear of it. Find me below in the tap room once you're loosed from his claws. Well, hello, I'm it's the guy who tried to kill me. Came. Think? Not to my door. Not yet. But to the final reckoning. One more thing before we begin, though. Oh boy, what is it? What did he just do? Oh? For the first time since the Nautiloid, your mind is clear. It's unsettling. Wait, did he just... Did he? Hold on. <laughs> Wouldn't that be exquisite? But no. I'm afraid the tadpole is still there. But I did shut out your other visitor for oh, a while. Oh, the other guy, right. So we can enjoy some privacy. Ooh, okay, what's he gonna talk about? The Illithid can't hear us. I brought you here because I'm true to my word. 
and I can make all of this tadpole business go away. Which means you and your lovely friends can remain blessedly free of tentacles. Let us speak plain. I'll admit, you've impressed me. I wasn't sure you'd make it this far. But no matter how far you come, you're still on the road to ruin. In a manner of speaking, but it's the one inside the prison that you need, not Oh, we know who's Orf Orpheus? The Gith. Morpheus. I can give you the means to break him free. The Orphic Hammer. An artifact capable of shattering the chains that hold Prince Orpheus is held securely in my House of Hope even now. The archdevil Mephistopheles snatched up the crown and squirreled it away in one of his vaults. He is not more than a frigid archivist. So much power and potential kept inert. He made a miracle into a museum piece. I raged. But only for a decade or so. There you are. I thought I'd lost you. Something was blocking me from hearing your thoughts. It's concerning that something could come between us like that. Especially when we are so close to the Elder Brain. I did not come this far for you to turn your back on the First Mother's son. And yet it seems I have no choice but to trust. There is but one prism, and you are its key. Find a way to retrieve the hammer and free Orpheus from the prism. I will assemble his remaining honor guard and plan our next actions. Together, we will yet free the true heir of Gith's blessed empire. He will free us from Vlakith and lead our Kithraki against the Geich. Is Dick. I will wait in the underground. Seek me when you have the hammer in hand. It turned out after my initial counter with Orin, who was actually planning something ahead. You are not Jihira. I... I was hoping to greet the High Harper beneath Saluna's tears. You have the lad a little nervous. You're the one toppled Ketherick out in the Shadowlands, no? Can't say I know much of Gortash, but Orin is hunting you. And when I deliver your corpse, she'll let me keep your skin. Looking for a way out of this little township, the only way I could get any closer to Baldur's Gate were through these means. Thankfully for all the exploration and stuff spotted on the outskirts, there would be a way up to this massive fortress. It took me quite a few tries, but after many attempts, I was about to crash this ceremony. Stand down, villain. In the name of the Steel Watch, aggressive action will not be tolerated in the presence of the patriarchs of this proud city. The Steel Watch appreciate your cooperation, citizen. Dearest patriarchs, but a moment. I must or Tash! It's this dude! Death. He's in here! Holy crap! Okay. My friend, forgive the cold welcome. My steel watchers are eager watchdogs. For the good of the people, I'm sure you understand. Lord Enver Gortash at your service. I understand congratulations are in order. Thorm's defeat hasn't gone unnoticed. You're known for who you are and for that nether stone that you carry. He knows so. Oh. It takes all three to control the brain. Without Thorns, it's become vexingly willful. The quakes are a clear warning. If nobody steps in soon, it'll free itself from the authority of the crown. I expect it'll start with turning the sword coasts infected. You among them. A prism of yours won't last indefinitely. Next, the grand design. The Mind Flayer Empire reborn. If we're lucky, we'll become slaves. Enver Gortash, swearest thou by Baldurin's blade to defend the citizens of Baldur's I don't believe this at all. Don't believe him at all. And without. I swear. He swears to kill everyone. Swearest thou true faith and fealty to the same by word, deed, and decree, so that none may suffer? I swear. Look at that Gather grin, guests. dude. The evil eyes, the grin. <laughs> he swears nothing. He looks awesome, though. 
If that wasn't enough, the next guest would surprise me even more. If it isn't little Will's chum. Mizora! I hope he hasn't been too much trouble. Poor thing. He's had a tough go. And you don't know the half of it. You see, Gortash has had Will's father relocated. Raven guards good as dead. And to think there's no way to save him. Or is there? I hope so. You might as well lock the cell. It's over. The Steel Watch. I came seeking allies to our cause. Watchers spotted me. Dragged me to Alder Ravenguard's husk. Empty as a stair. A tadpole's puppet. Nothing more. He spoke in accusations. Apostasy. Conspiracy. Sedition. I'll be executed in five dawns. You might have unlocked my cell, but there's no escape from this place. This is far enough. The way should be clear. I can't thank you enough for getting me out of that damned prison and for giving me courage when I'd all but run out. As I was about to leave this place, I was about to catch a thief in the air. Hidden up on the roof, you'll find all the stuff I stole. You can have it. I Thank love you. you. I'll never forget this. Me either, man. Thank never. you. What I didn't think would be so hard and an awful deal was me trying to retrieve the thief's stack. I truly did the best I could with each corner and every hiding spot I could find. Baldur's Gate, everyone. This is it. <laughs> hey. You're entering a different region. Venture forth? Uh. I guess so? This is this a different region? Oh. It was weird. It let me walk through it, but then it was like, <laughs> I don't know what's going on with my game, but it's just it's weird, dude. <laughs> We're at Lower City. Ah, uh, oh, 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 holy crap. Oh my God. Look at all of these quests. I want to give a huge shout out to my girlfriend just because I wasn't planning on finishing this anytime soon and as you could tell it hasn't been that soon it's been very long but this beautiful lady she just kept pushing me and honestly I'm happy that I finished it so thank you thank you so much and you were just the best. As I made my way through some sewers this would be the last place that I would find a companion just strolling about. Oh. Squaw. It's not safe here. It's too late for me. But not for you. What the fudge? As fast as your legs can carry you. Where did she come from? And what? Is, I'm so confused. First, tell me what you're doing down here. The shapeshifter. Or in the red. She sees me from our camp. Bore me here to Baal's enclave. She, she slit my belly and filled her cup with my blood. A toast, she said, to her false god. She told me. When her cup ran dry, she'd come for the rest of me. I'm done for. I will hold her off as long as I'm able. Run while you still can. Don't even think about fighting her. This foe is too powerful. I'm gonna be honest, I kind of think this is Orin for some reason. I will not run. I have no fear of Orin. You'd underestimate Orin the Red. The last mistake you'll ever make. Because you're Orin, right? I knew it! Oh, I'm getting better at this. Look at it. Crawling and sniffing and rooting around it, dude. in the filth. Is it my nether stone you seek, little piggy? <gasps> hush, hush. Orin will take care of you and your little Wait, she does she actually have Lazelle? Nothing. No, not a thing. <laughs> Still gasping and gagging on the foul airs of Ball's temple. <gasps> I will not slice. Her kind die too easily. The murder lord demands a better offering. Something new. Sticky, sweet, and delicious. 
He wants you. That is Baal's offer. He will not make another. Yeah, we're definitely gonna get her. The, the crazy thing about that now is I need to see something here. Oh my god. I did not know. Like, I didn't think she'd come to the camp and... I wonder if I was given, like, a chance to, like, fend her off or something. Dang. With this next part, I would soon come to learn about the Emperor's nostalgia. And then your letter. Thank you for bringing me back. This is it. Look around. You'll find some of my things still intact. All right. My cutlery set. A gift from my mother. The butter knife is missing, but otherwise it looks to be complete. I don't need it anymore, but the memory stirs something in me still. A pet. Whoa! -ho -ho -ho. Cerebral Citadel armor. You can't be frightened in any other stuff. Cerebral Citadel gloves. The full outfit. That was yo sick. Later in the night, Will was visited by a frenemy, let's call them. Feels like it happened forever ago. Oh, I love this. It's so hot. Oh, this is so attractive. Like just coming through that portal and everything. Look at her. Oh, so pale. Sorore surge. This is an orgy? I'm down. Come, sisters, be my testament. No tomb sit in Beator. Cool. Yeah. No tomb sit in Beator. Holy hells. Just what are you up to? Please introduce me to your friends. Fina, Cirrus, arbiters for the hells. Exemplars of justice. Your parasite links with Wills, and your memories flow into him. He sees his father's flight from Worm's Rock, and hears Mizora's words to you. Shit. Where did Gortash send my father? How do I save him? Sisters. Infernos contractos te vocamos. Infernos contractos te vocamos. Infernos contractos te vocamos. Mm. I don't think we should be signing that. Contract will signed in blood, forged in fire, bound in bone, but not unbreakable. Uh, then break it already? Will doesn't need to wait six months. No contract is ended without sacrifice. A cost must be paid. All right, this is, uh... Will, Raven Guard. This is getting really hot. A choice <laughs> is before you. Option one. I show you the way to your father. I guarantee him no harm except that from you and your allies. And you... Pledge your soul to me and the Archdevil Zariel in a pact eternal. Option two. I break your pact and you are freed from your duty. Your father dies by his enemy's hand and Baldur's Gate oh, loses its greatest champion. This is... Man. Name your sacrifice. Bloody Zariel. I won't let her take Will. Silence, Karlak. Mizora, you asshole. Choose. What will happen if... Wait, to Will's powers if he breaks the pact? Save your father, Will. The city will need him to help rebuild. You... you... Oh, oh, I don't like this. I don't like big choices like this. Because I know there's like so many ways to go about it. And like those impact other decisions and like vice versa from before and after like oh i'm gonna tell him to break it he deserves his freedom you damned wretch father do it break the pact fiat ita fiat ita anima ad beator 
hate it. I really hate it. But I want to see what happens. Obviously, his dad's gonna Didn't die. Think if I you think. had it in you. <laughs> Seems my boy's all grown up. And don't go fussing about your father. You made your choice. You knew the terms. You know what? I think I'll stick around. Not for the greater good, you understand. Just for the entertainment. <laughs> oh, uh, break wheels packed with Mizora. Achievement unlocked, the loophole. I figured it out. Exactly what I want to do with you. Even crazier than that, if you can believe it. I want to go on a date. Oh. First date. No weapons, no monsters, yeah. no mysterious voices. Just, Just you, you and me and dinner. dinner. Oh, that's Please so adorable. Say yes. I yes, immediately. Yes, 100%. Yes. yes. Oh, amazing. Put on your least bloody tunic and meet me back here. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> <is> so cool. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Give me a beat. To oh, finally a break. I want to make sure. Everything's absolutely perfect. See you there. She didn't. Where are we meeting up? She didn't really exactly tell me. Oh, oh, it's happening now. Hi, hi. You made it. Hmm. <laughs> look at her. Nice. Uh. Thank you. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> hmm. Baldurian seafood stew. No, thank you. What do you think you'll have? Hmm. The grilled Ruth ribs, pumpkin stew. Ooh. Bowl of. Ugh. I'm gonna go for the ribs. I feel like ribs right now. Just what I had in mind. Oh, we're actually like out of place. Okay. Oh. Two of the Rothe ribs, please. And two glasses of... Uh, let's do... You know what? Let's keep... Let's let's go the extra mile. Let's go for and a two wine. two glasses of wine. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been on a date with so, Carla. This is different. You're an adventurer, right? How's that going? Well, I mean, um... It's like she... <laughs> It's like she hasn't been to party with me. She's like, so what brings you to the deck of these decks of the woods? <laughs> exactly. You've been by my side for a lot of it, you know, but I guess for conversation's sake, let's do. Um, more difficult than expected. The baddies around here are very bad. Uh, bad ish. <laughs> Not trying to one up the local villains, of course, but man, have I seen some shit. But hang on, this isn't first date talk. Tonight, I'm a mystery to you, and you're a mystery to me. You're right. Small talk is for small people, and we loom large. But still, first date. So let's make with the first dating. Let's do it then. All right, you're right. Um, let's see. Finish. Good question. And easy enough in my case. I'm afraid of dying with regrets. Of living small and giving up the ghost before I've done what I came here to do. And that means yeah. going after the things I love, including you. Oh, Your God. turn. <laughs> Dude, she said she's like loved me three times already. This is crazy. <laughs> Snakes. Fear death. They say the gods will claim us in the afterlife, but there's no guarantee. Oh, hey. Here comes our food. All right. You know, I'm kind of getting hungry too now. <laughs> He just looks so hey, grump. Uh, Hank, I think we ordered the. It's a bleeder. Worst guy I ever met. Anyway, how about a toast? Oh shit! <gasps> help her! Help her! We could use my glass. May we live every day like it's our last. Oh, I mean that's true. You gotta live every moment like it's your last, cause you never know. Ooh, she just went for it. You okay? I like it. You never know when your last will come. Dude, you gotta go for it now. Ah. Oh. 
Oh, it's so, oh, it's so good. Oh, that was great. The food and the company. Whatever do you mean? We're just two normal people living normal lives. Very, very normally. Ooh, okay. I know I can't stay forever here with you. In fact, I feel like like I don't have long left at all. We've been through so much, and the worst is yet to come. I have every reason to feel terrified, hopeless, like giving up. Don't you dare but give to up. To be here with you. In the city I love, in this world that I love so much, it's all I could really ask for. You hear me? You're all I could ever ask for. I love you. <laughs> and I know that whatever else this city will throw at us, we can handle it. <laughs> I got goosebumps. <laughs> oh my god, I got goosebumps like lots. <laughs> She's being so just open, so. Come on. There's something I want to show you upstairs. Ooh. Hope you like it. Oh, here we go. I'm not showing you guys the, the hoo-hoos and ha-has. That's for me. I don't, I, I'll, I'll be honest. I don't know if they will. Ooh, she going. What is? Ah. Oh. Look at her. Look at us. Going a day with Carlac? Now that's playing with fire. Looking for a way out of the lower city sewers, this was the last place I wanted to be. With another win, surely I could find a way out now, right? There's more gith? Oh my goodness. I mean, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it again. All right, I'm ready. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Sweat. I'm too tall for this. I know, I know, I know. Hold on. Okay, so we're taking you. If this is alcohol... Do I have a firebomb or something? I need I need a firebomb. Bye guys. <laughs> There's one. There's another. Here's one more. And here's another. Ta -da. <laughs> I should have just fired and used that to get them all to come to me. Oh. So who's ready for murder taking place? Oh, hello, hello, hello. God hypocrites. The blade of frontiers, all pomp and empty oaths. The sword coast's most dashing fraud. You are either a fool for trusting him or a wretch for conspiring with him. Doesn't matter which. She doesn't like them, okay. Lady Mazora told me everything. How? Will slaughtered his own father. How he craves his power. How he means to make the city bow to him and him alone. This city holds no place for you or for Raven Guard's treacherous spawn. At ease. Yeah, you better. You better. By the living gods, I believe you. We did persuade them. Oh, good, good, good. What darkness has fallen upon us. There's something you must know. I should have told Will sooner, but I'd hoped somehow Ravenguard would return to us. Will was schooled in the ways of the great champions. He is to use those lessons to wake the worm sleeping beneath Baldur's Gate. 
The worm is oath bound to answer the call and come to the city's aid. Wait, there's an actual worm? <laughs> what? There's a dragon under the city? A bronze dragon. Oh, yes. that's so cool. He sleeps beneath us <gasps> even now, <laughs> awaiting a hero to rouse I'm him. a hero. I'm, I'm a the hero. Worm I'm, goes a hero. By I'm, many a, I'm a hero. I'm a hero. Ansur, the waiting storm, the heart of the gate. He promised Baldurin he'd protect the city if ever its existence was threatened. But just the once. Something I didn't do much of because I just loved the guy was stealing from Damon. I didn't steal too much and not because he didn't have things I wanted all right. You know, I love the guy. This next part was me geeking out and showing off some of the new things. In the time I did steal and, you know, pull my shenanigans, let's call it. I bought a bunch of new things, my party's equipment, and just dyes that went from looking like this to now looking like that. The change was unreal, not only in looks, but with all the damage my character and companions would now start to do. Seeing that I only had Raphael's deal left in Worm's Crossing, I figured I might as well take the deal. Are you sure? Excellent, excellent. You'll find everything is in order. And this agreement will bring us both what we want. You'll save the world. I'll unite the Hells and the Illithids. Will be eradicated. I know, Karlak, I know. Um, hold on, let's talk outside here so he doesn't see. What were you thinking? Don't worry. Can I can I give my it was the only way to get what we needed. I made the sacrifice and I do it again. It's none of your business, Karlak. I made the deal, not you. Hold on, we'll give him uh, I wish I could tell her. Like I want um, that's fine. That's fine. What if you change your mind about giving him the crown? What if you decide that giving Raphael dominion over the hells is a bad idea? And anyway, do you really expect him to keep his word? You think he'll stay far away from you forevermore, or will he come knocking again and again and again? As long as he has that contract, he owns you. I won't allow that. I wasn't actually going to take it, okay? This is just how the game went. If I was going to receive any help and find a way into the House of Hope, I needed to find Raphael's people. You are almost certain to fail. Almost. And so... There is a chance you might I feel like this is going to be a really hard battle, but I'm so ready. I have like upped my damage in everything. You guys are going to see some sick the stuff. Of a team of oxen. There are gauntlets of hill giant strength within the House of Hope. Free passage, and you fetch them for me. Deal? Opening a hell gate. Open the portal. You must place the ritual items in their proper places on the blood star. Place the skull on the star point near the altar. Okay, so skull on the point of the altar, place the corn of mammon. While I was on the course to end the night here, we had some uninvited guests. Oh, cutscene again. You sleep, but the wicked don't. Someone is here to disturb you. Oh rest. gosh, who's this? Get the hell's away from me! Peace, brother. We're here to take you home. The master needs all seven of us for the ceremony. Come with us and be reborn. We'll live again. This is creepy. This is super creepy. Maybe he could take Casador's place. Maybe he could free us. He will free yes. you guys. I know it. We can get back at Casador and finish the ritual. The seven can unite. And... Oh, looks like Casador's doing something. I think. Maybe. The bones hole. Are we? Wait, wait, we're fighting. Hold, hold on. Quite the family you got there, buddy. I'm gonna say that. I'm gonna be honest. Uh, um, you know, they're willing to sacrifice their selves, souls, and all to do that and die still. He wouldn't throw away centuries of planning on a scrap like this. They were pulled back just in time. He will be furious. <laughs> and he'll be even more furious when I get to that crypt and stop him. For what it's worth, thank you. No matter what happens down there, you helped me stand up against him. Figuring out the pieces to the next puzzle, this is where I was headed. There is nothing to oh. <laughs> Look at us, guys. Everything to be lost. Here we go. He doesn't want us doing it, but we do it. <laughs> oh. We won't get trapped here. We won't get dragged deeper into Avernus. We won't. 
On the bright side, my engine finally feels normal. Like it isn't about to explode. <sighs> I gotta admit, that's pretty nice. While meeting Hope and getting her help in the depths of hell, more or less, I was on my way to meeting the Archivist. This is a guest? Are you a client of the Master, or a visitor from elsewhere in the Hells? I do not believe you were invited. One moment, the schedule is all but clear, and yet you are here. Ooh, we could pretend to be the Virilius Receptor? Oh, let's go for it. Ooh, first try! First try, let's do it! A thousand apologies, O oh Majestic Magistrate of the Infernal Court. Your mortal guise is so vile, I found it perfectly convincing. I would prostrate myself before you and kiss your calluses, but my spine is ruptured in a thousand places. You do know how Raphael likes to play. As always, the archive is yours to peruse. I wasn't able to take or steal much right now, and I needed to explore more of this place. Let me tell you, things got real hot. Oh, man. Oh, boy, what are we doing? I don't know if I want to play this type of game. Good little thief. Good. Keep going like this. And you'll get to live. Uh, let's do it. I'm gonna inform for my taste. Duchess, I shall be. Turns out when you do the opposite of what you were told to do, things would take a real turn for the worse. The magic blinks away at your words. This piece of humble parchment contains your promise to give Raphael the crown of Carsus. Without it, you are unbound from him forever. Your blood suddenly runs cold. Raphael knows what you've done. Wait, do we actually have to fight here? Oh, come on. You claim to be who you are not. Stole from my master, and now you expect to leave. I hope so, yeah. I want to leave. <laughs> uh, <laughs> a hopeless situation. Whoa, what is happening to this lady? Holy crud. Oh my god, Hope is like literally tied up. What the fudge? There's a spectator. Oh my god, this is crazy. Here we go. Beat it up, beat it up, beat it up. What? Free? I never thought I Watch would her be bad or something, be like she's on, not on our side. I don't know. I was in for a real treat here, because this is why we loved Larian students. They went all out, man. Raphael? Yeah. I knew it. You. Me. And you. And you've chosen death. Can we actually kill him? It's the fatal I hope so. That'd be so cool. Oh my god. Take away their free will and they call you a tyrant. Allow them to indulge it and they become tyrants. You can salvage a trophy from these insects when I'm done with them. These insects struck me down beneath the Shadowlands. They are worthy opponents. Their skulls will make fine trophies to stand against a devil in his own home. Hmm. That takes courage. <laughs> we turned his own friend against him. How tiresome. Am I to understand that you wish to die with them? I wish to fight with them. That's it's right. The same in the <laughs> Let's kill him. Kill him dead. If you have any last words, make it quick. It will only take a moment to finish you. Let's kill them all. Let's kill them all. Hey. Raphael, of course, he has 666 HP. God dang it, sir. We have the Cambions. Cambion, Cambions. We have three Cambions outside, three Cambions on this side. What music is playing? Oh my god, this is beautiful. What? We're fighting the devil himself. <laughs> Master of the house. <laughs> this is so sick, man. Oh, I love this. Holy crap. This is actually so good. Oh, I feel like crying right now. <laughs> but I'm not gonna. Not gonna. Let's kill these sides first. These ones. Oh, he's even 
sing his own song. That's so cool. Killer, killer. Ugh, one more time. Oh, ooh, he goes invisible too. Woo, thank you for the heals. Oh, we knocked him down. Oh my god, this is good, this is good. Maybe I could stun him. Stun too. Oh, let's go, let's go, let's go. Bonus action. He's been stunned, guys. He's been stunned. <laughs> it's so good. Oh, uh, what else do we do? Where are you going, buddy? Oh, hit him, hit him, hit him. Come on, guys. Being just a sh oh god, what's he doing? Oh my god! This man just transformed into his true form, maybe? What the fudge? Yo. Look at that. He's got like three faces. Oh, we just did a 44. That's normal. Oh, hey, nice crit. God dang. We might actually be able to kill him here. Come on. Oh, 12 damage. I'll take it. I will actually take that. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Now we can do this. Since she's just like pure melee kind of thing. Actually, I don't, does it matter if it's... I don't know if it matters anymore. Oh, dang. Oh, winner, winner, check it, winner, winner, winner. It's absolutely preposterous that anyone's alive. Winner, winner, check it, dinner, man. Get yourself and check we're not dreaming the last of our lives as we die screaming. We're fine. We're fine. I'll pinch myself. <laughs> you are wide awake, and Raphael truly is defeated. This guy's awesome. I'll gladly lend you my skills against them when the time comes. Until then... Good luck to you, little rabbit. <gasps> he called me a little You're rabbit. A finer hunter than any wolf. I love that. That's awesome. I love that nickname. <laughs> and now we can actually just go back straight up. Another new morning here, and there was no way I could not steal from them. I was addicted to it, okay? Now headed towards what I thought was a random house. This would be another gear in the grand scheme of things. Ooh, secret book, guys. I love these. Unsure of what to expect up ahead, I was on complete guard. I'm not entirely sure what this quest is again. You gaze upon murder's progeny. Oh my gosh. Child. Yo, look at this His person. most ill-trusted zealots. What the heck is this? His faithful departed. Prodigal servants. Each returns to do his bidding eternally. This man is known to all Baldurians. And his presence sparks dread in the pit of your stomach. I'll kill him too. <laughs> Before you is Saravok Anchev, a barlist who almost brought Baldur's Gate to ruin a century ago. Oh, wow, really? This is the court of the Dread Lord's Tribunal. I am its custodian. His voice, Here though. Here oh. are those who seek to transcend. Aspirants of his most profane order, the would-be unholy assassins of Baal. You are deemed worthy. Enter the Dread Lord's abattoir and submit to his will. We just fight him. Cooler. It took me quite a few attempts learning how this worked and really just trying not to die. I seem to have stumbled upon something. That or I just got really lucky. Well, it looks like they're mad. I killed them. So here we go. Wait, what? They died? Just a few more punches out, and I was now able to talk with the investigator. <laughs> we killed them all and saved them. Thank goodness. Oh my god. There you go, buddy. Took you bloody long enough. You've no idea how wrinkles like mine get caught in chains like that. I suppose some thanks are in order. It's also that time in the video, and if you made it this far, comment your favorite companion down below. Feeling like I missed a few things, one being the quest to find Mole. It turns out I actually forgot about Mole in Act 2 Moonrise. I had to go back in some of my videos and some of my quests, so my bad. Apologies there. But now I was looking to find another hidden secret inside this house of hope. Maybe I missed something. Oh, staff of spell power. 
I had a lot hidden, didn't he? With a new way into the Undercity, this would be a whole new area to explore. With the amount of stuff explored, it almost felt like Act 3 would never end. And I wasn't even halfway done this video, okay? Let me tell you that right now. I even found a secret lair full of, well, nothing. Sounds like this place doesn't care for intruders. This next part of Ball's questline and finding Orin was about to test my patience. Turns out this first attempt would kill almost everyone. A curse that said after a certain amount of turns would do the ungodly amount of damage. My next attempt, I got even closer than before. Making it to the bridge, it would call upon everyone else, and as quickly as they came, they would put a stop to me. On my last attempt, however, I planned on getting a Starion atop the mountainside. Using a teleport arrow would be perfect for that, and then I could focus on getting everyone across the bridge as fast as I could. Did, did we win? Oh? Okay, I think we won. Holy crap. Making it closer to where Lizelle was being held, I apparently took a wrong turn here. Oh, the Elder Bring. Whoa, look at all the rats. Turn back. We must have all the Neverstones before we approach the brain. Oh, God. Oh, God. We follow, uh. we contain. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, what? Where is she? Oh my god, there's... <laughs> there's a lot of rats, okay. Thank you. Oh my god. You so, like, ugh. Time for the big old bridge of death. Also, want to see something really cool? Oh, I wish you could see the door. It's, it's better from up top. As I was about to speak with Oren, this beast reminded me so much of the old school movie called Spawn. Hush, hush. I hear footsteps trip trapping on the murder lord's stones. Oh, it lied to me. It lets the tyrant live and comes crawling into Baal's sanctum instead. <laughs> Know what you did? Spilled my grandfather's crimson. He was mine. He showed me how to slice and slit. Oh, slipped. poor thing. He guides my dagger still. Cry, cry, cry. Oh, did it think it could protect? Did it think it could save? Only the blades can offer salvation. Yes. Yes, give me agony. Pluck me bone from socket. Stroke me with a jagged edge until my skin shreds wet and red. <laughs> a sharp lamb to be sacrificed. But your cruelty makes the crimson sweeter. Murder should have been exquisite. A crypt born effigy to greet Ball's bleeding dawn. And now it will be nothing. Come to me, Father. Set my flesh to your unholy purpose. Oh, this thing! I remember seeing this actually. That's right, you die. Die, die, die. Oh, this took forever, man. Goodbye. You have robbed another god of his chosen. To think I was taken captive by that disgusting creature. An error, I'm glad you Welcome back. Oh, <laughs> feels good, man. I will not let my guard slip again. I swear by Mother Gith Sion. Oh, boy. Once again, back inside the sorcerer's sundries, I found multiple portals lined up with one another. I'm not going to show the whole fight here, but after defeating Lorikin and dealing with the little minions, they really did try their best to make me feel guilty. So one sec while I go and get the songbird. He's so creepy. <laughs> it's not happening. I'm not giving you power. By sharing yours. You dare to threaten me with the same magic that held me in torment for a hundred years. You do not seek to share my gifts. You seek to poach them. 
Megalodons! Imperatum! So we're fighting, okay. Are they gonna... Yep, okay. Earth, water, fire, air. These are the four elements that tried to defeat me in the... Let every wicked magus, every vile murtherer, each slaver and misery merchant see. Dame Aelin is watching. She is indomitable. And when her face lights the shadows of your wrongdoing... Man, she's, uh... <laughs> I think this is a bit... Oh my... Oh my... What the... Oh, <laughs> just pulled a wrestling move. Was my day still inside the Sorcerer's Sundries? I was in search of a rare book and one that could potentially tell me more about the crown of Carson. With that knowledge and the book in hand, the best person to talk this stuff over with was Gale. That devil Raphael was telling the truth. There's no doubt. The crown of Carsus is what's controlling the Elder Brain. And this... This is no mere journal. It contains Carsus's original plans for the crown's construction. His designs for godhood. Looking for my next adventure because Baldur's Gate had plenty of it. It also had friends from far and wide. Well, go on, girl. Tell me everything. First thing first, you saw the news, didn't you? About Archduke Gortash. Right? Oh, I'm sure the fox will make a great duke of the hen house. I think you were the only thing that kept him a little honest. After you left, things got dark, fast. I got out while my soul was still intact. Started working for an arms merchant. Still in the trade, as you can see. Met my fellow Gregor that way. We've been together eight years now. And Carlach, we have a little one on the way. Fitz, that's incredible. Congratulations. Mum life, huh? You're going to be incredible. Gods, I hope so. Even after all these years, it seemed to happen so fast. But now that you're back in town, you must come to ours. All of you. We'll have a good supper, catch up. You can meet Gregor. And the little one, in a few months. Are the two of you together? Uh-huh. Isn't she beautiful? Absolutely. You're well suited, I can tell just by looking at you. Pleasure to meet you, by the way. I can't tell you how good it is to see you, Fitz. I'd love to come have dinner with you and Gregor. We're in the city on some urgent business, but can I come find you when it's all settled? I'd love that. I swear I didn't do this okay. I found the bodies like that and the blood painted everywhere. It felt like a good time as any to explore another little house. Leave me be. What? What are you Who is this? You catch the scent what? of death on the man's clothes. He's just in... damp with decay. Just inside the closet? He appears or a wardrobe. unwell. This is my spot. Go on, find your own. Just before heading out, I was about to see Murlocs from World of Warcraft in this game. Wait, what the fudge? What the hell is that? What are these? Um... <laughs> what is happening? Okay, we're fighting a bunch of Sahu Agun. Sahu Agun. Thank you for cutting those creatures down, truly. Gods know what would have happened if you weren't here. With the information given to me by a new acquaintance, I had a meeting with the one and only Carrion himself. First, you butcher my star. Then, you dare to enter my salon without an appointment what possible reason could you have to enter the presence of mystic carrion my story has been eternities in the making were i to recount it you would return to dust before i finish the first sentence as for why i chose this place as my home it is a city rife with anguish Rippling with disturbed spiritual energy. The people here required a reassuring hand to navigate such waters. And so I offered mine. Taking what I now knew, it was back to Thrompo. Mystic. Carrion. You're working for him. Oh no. No, no. I knew he wouldn't let us leave in peace. You don't have to help him. 
He's the one you should be after, not me. You've met him. How can you need more justification than that? He, he murdered me. Murdered my friends. Snatched us right up from the dark side and, and made us these, these things. Monsters. Fit for gutting and, and grinding and, and desecrating the dead. He constantly abuses us. Makes us do the, the worst things you can imagine. There used to be five of us. My friend Talis, he couldn't take it anymore. After Talis died, Carrion blindfolded me and took me into a strange place. A foul and ancient place. Somewhere the living wouldn't dare to tread. Down there, he showed me a jar. Said it contained the secret to eternal life. And if I behaved, he would share it with me. I think it was his heart. I'm not stupid. I know what he did to my friend. Gods, how I'd love to smash that bastard jar. That's how you kill mummy lords, you know. Close to another quest, this one looked seemingly innocent. A fireworks shop that seemed to be doing good business. If there was something I didn't like, it was guys who stood in front of doors. I wanted to weigh in and the only way that would happen was flying up top. Truth be told, I tried this way too many times and it would leave me Failing successfully for now. With a little more exploration into the fog, the first house I came by was a shocker. My buddies made us proud. Such humble beginnings. Help me. God, help me. Envers ruined my mind. He's taken my body. I should have slammed the door in his face. But I let him in and he rammed some kind of worm in our eyes. I'm here, but I can't speak. I can't act. I'm trapped. Back out into Baldur's Gate now, the next house I came by looked quite abandoned, feeling like it needed some love from yours truly. An intruder. These people are under my protection. I'll not let you harm them. Hearken to my words, wicked creature. Return to the pit of evil from whence you came. Don't listen. Who knows what spells it weaves around us? Quickly, Cleric. Helm, protector of all, grant me the power to ignite this creature's flesh and burn its bones to ash. So apparently these are the people that were running away from a certain hag. And if I recall, the hag from Act 1 didn't actually die. So maybe that's who we'll see again? That'd be so cool if we got to see that hag. Why is she hunting you? Because we dared to do the impossible. We dared to fight back. You see, all of us here have fallen victim to a hag's vicious ways. But instead of succumbing to despair, we rose above it. Thanks to Marina, our leader. Together, we've been helping others who've suffered at the claws of a hag. Only, Marina's been hexed by the very hag now hunts us oh man that's right learning the truth with mayrena and what happened again i honestly felt like leaving this quest alone obviously that's not exactly what i did and had to find a way to lift this curse this quest had me confused because i just didn't know what my next move was the best thing i could think of was just throwing stuff at her <laughs> the next location i found myself in was a bank a counting house and a place full of truth and lies Hush your fussing. Nine Fingers had this one made especially. Hello, Marvel. We'll barely slow it down. But the stories. Stories. Tall tales and big names, lad. Don't let them fool you. Elminster the Archmage. Drist the Drow Exile. Heroes have power eye. But not half so much as we do. A little coin into the right purse. A soft word in the right ear. It's not glory that spins these planes, lad. It's gold. See? No. Moradin's cracked clay. 
What is happening? Holy crap! Who is this? Oh! There is no gold in here! Where's Minsk? Where's <laughs> Minsk? If there is one thing Minsk hates more than beasts with bad breath. <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> it is those who are tricksome with the truth. Yo, this guy's so cool. And turnips. But are no turnip. Let that be of comfort in your final oh my moments. God. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna faint. Me too. Oh my god. I wanna step in. You. You. Me. Minsk, the what's wrong? Absolute has shown me your face, villain. I will beat it into a more pleasing shape. Enough play, Stone Lord. The Absolute has other plans for this one. Wait, she's still alive? <laughs> Nine Fingers set a poor trap, little banker. Let the Absolute's faithful show you how it is done. Is she really still alive? I thought she was now dead. Come, Stone Lord. We have the gold, and the Absolute has need of it elsewhere. As you say, Jaira. Dude, Minsk is so sick. Also, what's in front of them? This fight was definitely one of the easier ones, which also had me laughing to myself. After the win, all of the people inside literally gave up on trying to stop me from looting the safes. Returning to the fireworks shop, the only way to get from the bottom to the top floor was with my favorite vampire. The fight was definitely too close for comfort, and with a swift win, I had to leave this place as quickly as I could. As I was taking in more of the beautiful scenery this game had, the dock in front of me caught my eye. A close by factory that seemed to be empty. Oh, snarls. I'm definitely not supposed to be in here. Look at these beasts. They have the opportunity to attack, do they now? Come on, come on, come on. Oh, yeah, buddy. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You've been dead. Wait, you're not dazed. All right, get ready. <laughs> Taking my party elsewhere, I ended up in the Blushing Mermaid, looking around the place to see if there was any secrets or things for the taking. Obviously, I missed the biggest secret of them all, but I won't spoil that just yet, okay? Having myself a nice stroll today, I found the perfect spot for a screenshot. We redden our steel by the light of day in his name. Oh? But you are not the lamb for our slaughter. It seems you've won Lady Oren's favor. Join us in this act of slaughter in Baal's name. Closer to the Steel Watcher foundry by this point, Shadowheart well, stopped me in my tracks. I think I was the one who did it. I can recognize my own handwriting. How long ago was this? Years? All the time I spent training, hidden away from the world. I think, I think I must have wanted to leave my mark somewhere, just to prove I existed, even to myself. While being at the docks, I had to buy my way in, allowing me to cross and finally speak with the actual steel watcher. Your unit is a highly outdated model. The Ragnax casement protecting your metallurgized ice valves is burning well outside the recommended temperature. Please report to the Steel Watch Foundry for dismantling. Whoa! For dismantling? No, you don't talk to Karlak like that. Oh my god. Same thing Damon said? You know how to fix this malfunctioning engine? They are not allowed to talk like that to Karlak, I swear to god. With some chatter being heard from afar, this would be the first time I'd seen Volo in so long. I could explain. You have done quite enough explaining, Volothamp Gadam. You have poisoned the very hearts and minds of these good, kind, gentle citizens with your lies. 
Your delusions. Your conspiracies. Though you hide behind a mask of stories, we have seen beyond the veil. We see what you really are. Fearmonger. I really thought I was done for. I suppose thanks are in order. Again, what's an heroic story without a little risking of one's neck, eh? As you know it, they say, the bigger the story, the more people want to kill you for it. <laughs> I'll tell you all about it. But not here. Too many eyes, ears, and wear palms about. Meet me at your camp. This next part of the video, I swear I was distracted by the architecture, okay? Totally wasn't because of this beautiful, bodacious body lady mermaid. Oh god, no. Even a new quest from the mer people themselves, I was told to look for a beast in the water. The queen of the depths is generous to those who serve her, and her favor is far less deadly than her wrath. Find the master of this poisonous beast and slay him. Then one of her most precious gifts shall be yours. My dumb brain thought it actually meant something in the water. No, not like, you know, some secret hidden lair or something. There is something I'm looking for. Hello. That might be worth a look. Ooh. Ooh. Hello, Flim Cargo's basement. Poor in this whole bleeding city that matters. Now, why are you here? Did Gortas send you? Oh, yeah? And are you here to make good on that? Uh, yeah, I sure am. And you're the judge, jury, and executioner, is that it? Yeah, right. Say goodbye, kid. Goodbye, kid. Just you? No, come on. Come on, poor guy. He doesn't know what's coming. Look how strong Karlak is. Bam! <laughs> Watch this, watch this. You ready? Let's do a little... You know what? No, 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 no. We'll take it up a notch. We'll go even further. Smite smash. Like, this is just crazy. Like, what What are we talking about here? Like, what is this? Like, come on. That's like a little guy. You know? He's an itty bitty guy. Jumping into what seemed to be the water beast itself, I was being taken to a place called the Iron Throne. Ah! Oh, you know. Set foot within the Iron Throne and you will die, as will all of the hostages inside. How many people are trapped within? How many lives will be lost? I went in doubt. Any, many, many, mo, catch a tiger by the toe. If you haul and let him go, out you must go. So you're out. I guess we're docking at the Iron Throne. <laughs> when the corpses start to wash up on the shore, remember, you could have prevented all this. Don't worry, I got this. All right, oh. Is he blowing it up? Or did he just blow it up? Uh, I guess we're about to find out. The first thing I had to do was see what was going on. This place was huge, and the map showed a lot of people that needed saving. Oh, who's this? Uh, oh, the Duke Alder Ra Ra Ravenguard. Oh my god. Yo, we gotta get that man. Okay, you're making me dizzy here. Just pick, pick, pick something. Oh, crud. Well, look who it is. Mizora doesn't want him living. living. Bound along. A bargain's a bargain, and I've come to see it through. Mia Furia. Kneel for me. If only Will were here to see this. Now, stand back and enjoy the show. How are we all to go? Oh, crap. Where's Mizora? Combust belly spidlings? Um. 
Oh, that's not good. That's not good. I guess we should have brought him out first for this to happen. They can't be attacked until this person hits something. So that might actually work out beautifully. I'm, I think. think. We'll see. Oh, thank God. Look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. I'm keeping them both right here because I can teleport you guys way over here and we can just run up. We'll do that. You're coming with me, buddy. Wait, can I click myself too? Come on. Hello, my friend. Hello. Spider's gonna try. Get him out of here, please. Ladder, ladder, ladder. With the Duke out of the way, the last few prisoners were super easy to rescue. My team was the mightiest of foes, and getting them on board was even easier. You guys not gonna make it? Oh! No way! Did we actually. Yo! Let's go, baby! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Are we gonna make it? What's up, man? Oh, we made it in time! Yo, I can't believe I did that. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. Oh, feels good, man. Feels good. So often the wave mother pays the price for the sins of men. But you killed the beast's master. You've earned this. The restoration of the harbor will take a long time. Black blood clings and stinks like death itself. It is pretty bad. With the bad. bitch queen's blessings. With the bitch queen's blessings. It's called the bitch. <laughs> okay. Ooh, fancy. What is this? The Wave Mother's Rope? This next part of the story was about to reveal the truth about Shadowheart's story. Oh, what the fudge, yo. You seek to be unburdened, yes? The mapping of the heart can reveal the way. Yet, there is another here whose need is great. A voice. Allow me. I think I'm supposed to do this. My... <laughs> Never mind. Do you know why you are here? There is something I lost. No. Had taken from me. My family. My life. I want it all back. Loss is a gift, girl. Do you still not understand that? Now give me the true answer. What is your purpose in being here? The artifact. I was sent to retrieve it. At any cost. And who tasked you with this mission? The Mother Superior. Of Sha... It's you. Give me the honor of my name. In full. I... I can't. My memories... I know what's in that head of yours better than you do, girl. My name. Mother Superior. Lyconia Devere. You still have the wits to recognize your betters. Good. Now descend. You have much to answer for. An astral projection. Clever girl. She's not taking any chances. We shouldn't either. Hmm. Hey, right, these people are so snarky, it's really, like, frustrating. Oh, we're definitely gonna have to fight here. Ooh, this is gonna be fun. Kill them all. They already heard how you disgraced yourself before Lady Shah. How she marked you as the enemy. But it is quite another thing for them to see it for themselves. I am very glad you decided to return. A cautionary tale such as yours will be studied by Lady Shah's initiates for years to come. But perhaps I can make a case for some small measure of mercy. Give me the artifact, and I can at least make this quick. Figured as much, yeah. Enough. I don't answer to you. Not anymore. I'm here for my family. That's right. I know what you did. 
and it's not going to be quick. This is your family, and now you have turned your back on it. The artifact was your last chance to prove yourself, and you squandered it. Shadowheart has nothing to prove to the likes of you. Such misplaced camaraderie. How about this? Surrender this one to me, now, and you can leave freely. And consider Lady Shah's forces your allies in the battles to come. Oh, we already have enough allies. We don't need you. Goodbye. As you like. Lilala! For Shah! Figured as much. Yep, we're uh, fighting uh, whew, a lot of people, huh? We got some big boys. Again, these fights really did kick my butt. Either really bad rolls or just unlucky. I also didn't know who or what to focus first. Well, that was a big crit. This has been going well so far. As you can see, like, my monk finally got all the positive things I needed and more. Like, jumped up here, killed this one, did it. Come down here, kill that one, go over here. Use my, like, outfit to get the reaction to do two more things. To come down here, you killed her, which is great. Killed this one, great. So we have three less magis. Ooh, already killed this person. Oh, was that Char? Oh, Char's dead. Oh no, not the Char Char. Stun you. Let me stun you too. Ah. Oh, we got one more though. Let's go again. Come on. Yeah, stun both of them, baby. Let's go. Now for the wolf. Oh my god, look at this. We're doing it. We're actually doing it. <laughs> Get through Char's temple. God, that was scary, man. The, this is like. I don't know why, but like the first part of it just like went so smoothly. Like I cannot even just oh, like it was just beautiful. Bye. There's you. Well, I mean you're gonna die anyways. Your turn. Come here. Goodbye. Ah! Poison. Yay! Oh, that was so good. Oh yeah 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 yeah. <laughs> Shadowheart? I wasn't sure if I'd ever lay eyes on you again. It's me, Nocturne. Do you remember? Remind me? We... we trained together. We used to be close. I'm glad to see you're all right. I don't remember you. Oh. A pity. Perhaps we can talk some more later? That is... If you're not about to turn on me, it seems you no longer walk in the Dark Lady's shadow. Shah condemned me. By her decree, you and I are enemies. Only if you wish us to be. You may not remember, but we shared a lot together once. Good times. Hard times. I will not turn on you, even if it angers Lady Shah. That's... Good enough for me. I'm not sure what I expected coming back to this place. Certainly not a friend. There must be all sorts you can tell me. Things I can't even remember. There are. But with the Mother Superior gone, I don't know if I can stay here to reminisce. Perhaps there's another enclave out there for me. You don't need Shah. You don't, perhaps. Not everyone is as brave. I'll leave come tomorrow. Come see me before then. You can't be. Another vile trick. No. There is no trick. It's her. Jennifer. Jan. Our little girl. Moon Maiden's Grace. It is you. I'm here to get you out of here. They're all gone. It's over. It is not over. You see, it 
It matters not if you raise this place. If you slay every one of your brothers and sisters. That was never where my power resided. Every time you try to step away from me, every time you try to reach for Saluna, my hold on you bites deeper. If you'd learned, if you had obeyed, there would be no pain. But you struggle on. You will make things worse for yourself and for them. before my sister set the sun aflame. Now you exist to suffer until you find your way back to my embrace. Enough! I'm taking my parents away from here. I'm taking them away from you! You cannot. We are still bound to you. You cannot both free us and free yourself from her curse. The Moon Maiden needs you more than she needs us. You are the future. You must return to the fold. We are the past. And our duty is almost done. Eloquently put. His mind stood up well to his time here. The same cannot be said for your mother. Such brief, fragile lives humans lead. This is my final lesson. I leave you now to dwell on your mistakes and make your choice. Shah's parting words make your flesh crawl. There is no lesson to be learned here, only a family's torment, a spiteful goddess's whims, and an unspeakable choice to be made. She's gone. I, do I don't understand. Shah will never admit defeat. Not until she has stolen one last thing from you. We cannot allow your future to be her last prize. Not after all your mother and I have endured to see you again. Your companion understands, I think. Help her, please. Help her see what must be done. I'm... I'm sorry. I didn't know any of this was happening until it was much too late. I came to try to put things right. And you did. You found us. All these years, that dream kept us going. That you would break free. No matter what they made you do to us, we knew you were still in there. I knew the Dark Woods wouldn't frighten you. You were always such a brave girl. She was. And still is. You've saved us. Now save yourself. You'll be out of Shah's reach, and we'll be at peace. But I only just found you again after all this time. I can't lose you again. We'll still be with you. By the Moon Maiden's grace, we'll never be far. Please, Jennifer. Is this truly what you want? It is what we need. All of us. You were meant to be a guiding light for Saluna's faithful, but they robbed you from us. Now that can be righted, and we can rest. Help us, Jen. I can let go. Now I've seen your face again. Goodbye. Not goodbye. Not even close. Moonlets. They bring Saluna's light to dark places and offer guidance to those in need. My parents are watching over me. Let's leave this place. There's nothing more for me here. Shadowheart was on a path of truth, 
sacrifice, and redemption. Leaving the actual shop itself, all I had to do now was punch a few people in their dumb faces. My monk was unstoppable by this point, and the damage did show for it. This would be the day I looked for a way to the upper level, a little roundabout staircase that would lead me to the front of Kazadar's place. Everything inside felt normal enough, except for this weird door with symbols. What took the most time here was just trying to find this translator I needed and then getting something from an old friend. The place itself wasn't as big as I thought, but with a few rooms to a dusty old attic, this huge platform definitely fit the profile. Who stands before us? Oh, Casador. Is this truly our prodigal son? Oh, man. Do not slouch before me, boy. Have you no respect for yourself? Look at you. Crawling back after abandoning your family, you should be begging our forgiveness. Have you fallen so far that this speaks for you? I don't need anyone to speak for me. No, you always had a gift for words. I fondly remember your empty boasting, your tired jokes, your endless prattle. No! Shut up! <laughs> The cattle know about things of which they know nothing. This ritual is centuries in the making. <laughs> nothing shall stop it now. Except for me. That's what you think, <laughs> you son of a bitch. Starting another big boss battle here because, you know, I love those. Everything was definitely going well. I wasn't about to die or, you know, lose or anything. You wake up! Get your hands off me, worm! <sighs> I'm not the one in the dirt. One last thrust, and I'll be free of you. I'll never have to fear you again. But if I finish the ritual you started, I'll never have to fear anyone. Ever. You think me a fool? That I would allow anyone to usurp me, speak the words, and ascend in my place? Hm? The runes I carved into your flesh bind you and all 7,000 souls to the ritual. Complete it, and those bearing the scars will be sacrificed, you included. You are simply a means to an end. I made you to be consumed. I am so much more than what you made me. I can do this, but I need your help. Please. I can't do this alone. Fine. Oh my god, what did I just do? Poor Starion. <laughs> Finally ready to leave the Forbidden Place, apparently I was followed into Cazador's dungeon. I had hoped to avoid this path. I had hoped you would choose the better road. A fool I was to ever hope a beast like you could be saved. Oh, please. There's no need for such language. I promised you Cazador's death, and I more than delivered. While back inside the ancient lair, I was able to craft up what I needed as I gave the jar a toss. Tell me you found a way to destroy Mystic Carrion. His rotten heart was inside of me this whole time. His heart, man. 
Get it out. I have to get it out. Oh, what does he end his immortality? You got it. Watch this. I'm gonna throw it. Um, take this one. Do it over here. Boop. Hello again. Hello. All right, let's kill them all, shall we? He's already dead. He's gonna die. He's just, he's gonna die. The enemy's surprised? Of course he is. Let's kill him. Let's make sure he's dead forever, you know? And then stun his butt. Hold on, actually, we're gonna punch him first. Five HP. I gotta get this guy to come in now. Come on, five HP! Yeah! <laughs> Mistra was next on the list, and now had me looking to upgrade and give Gale all he needed. Well, that was fast. Gale of Waterdeep. You look well. As do you. But I assume we're not here solely to exchange compliments. So why am I here? You discovered what lies at the heart of the Absolute, the Crown of Causes. And you disobeyed my instruction. Why? Because you had no right to ask that of me. You cast me out. Remember? You were my lover. My chosen. Yet still you know so little of me. The past cannot be undone with self-pity. Nor can a future be forged. Only with the truth will you see the way ahead. The fragment of magic you tried to return to me was not of my creation. It was the Carsite Weave. It is a corrupted, half-born magic wrought in the brief moment Carsus ascended to godhood. It hungers for power, just as he did, and it can never be sated. You unleashed something that would consume all magic in existence, and yet you thought only of preserving yourself. So that's what you're scared of. With the crown of Carsus reforged, I could take control of the Carsite Weave. You can no more control the Carsite Weave than a weather vane could control a storm. That it entered your body and consumed no more than your powers was a miracle. But we will not be granted another. The only reason the orb sleeps is because I have allowed it to feed on the true weave. A temporary measure, but one that will not be enough to save us. With each day that passes, the Elder Brain threatens to become a new kind of god. Its worshippers, a scourge of soulless illithids. If you will not use the orb to end this abomination, then you must find a way to separate crown and host. When you've done this, you must surrender the crown of Carsus to me. A great ask indeed. You've given me much to think on, as you always did. So be it. Follow the needle of your own wisdom. We shall see how truly it leads you. She's cute. But, I mean, you know, not my type. I don't know. But the next day here, I thought about taking Lazelle with me instead of Astarian. I was planning on doing another quest, but I didn't exactly know how to travel back to the Astral Prism. So, off to the Blushing Mermaid it was. Oh, there is something here. Right there, look at that. Ooh. This could be the hag uh, hideaway, I guess. Where is Ethel? Oh, little Auntie Ethel. Where are you? Being on my toes about what I saw, knowing that the hag was actually back, I had to find her before it was too late. Mm. You got into my basement? Well... Aren't you the shittiest little spore spore? Guess there's no point in wearing <gasps> oh! this <laughs> She's the hag! Her 
voice. Did you hear that? Oh, transformation spell. Look at you. She's still alive. I just can't have nice things, can I? Did it just say hey, pregnancy? Such fun playing pirate captain. Yes, yes, I'm back. And would you look at me? Am I not glowing? I've decided I'm ready for the ultimate joy. Motherhood. I'm like happy and also terrified. Oh my god, my eyes could not be more open. I feel like I took some coffee. What? I <laughs> gobbled myself up a sweet little girl. And she was so very tasty. Oh, we're, we're killing her. We're killing it. Ren resists in my belly, growing fat with power. In time, I'll vomit her up and have myself a fresh young hag to train. Unfortunately, that leaves me in a pickle. For while I love so, walk Surrender away. the child immediately. Walk. You'll kill me, touch me, and the girl dies. And I'll simply return. Stronger than ever. Wait, can we not actually <laughs> kill her? A woman in my condition should be relaxing in the bath, not dealing with this nonsense. The words are nice, I but what she did is not. Crew, matey. I killed them. And should you somehow survive, stay away. Or Van will suffer. Her crew. Oh, her crew. <laughs> oh yeah, my underwear. I. <laughs> Dude, I am so hard right now. Look at my character. He's so hard. Dude, why is everybody so hard? Of course, this was the hag, so I knew to avoid some traps and watch out for poison gas. That hag was about to become a trophy of mine. Showed up. I told you, Petal, you can't hurt me without killing little Vanra. I have your beat, so do the heroic thing. Die. But how do we say? The child does too. If the hag dies, the child dies. How do we do this? But then there's also these. Here, spell. I need to try to stun her. If I can stun her, she won't move, right? Bop. What if I knock you prone? Dude, I could kill her in one shot with just my monk. Oh, that's kind of crazy, actually. Oh, if we could crit the 28, maybe? Uh, Actually, no, no, no. This is still good. Okay, so we end you. All we do is take this and throw it. What did you... Stay down, Vagra! Oh, it's coming up! <laughs> Cough her up! No! Stay down! Never! Ah! You cost me a fresh young hat! I'm going to paint the wall with your guts, you little shit stain! No, you're not. There that one goes. Watch this. Are you ready? Let's finish him. <gasps> mummy! What? What? Go to mummy. Yeah, I know. That was the fastest head quest ever. Holy crap. All I had to do now was travel back to some friends and give them the good news. Hello. <gasps> right. We already got her before. Hey. That feels strange. Light. Happy. Yay! The hug is dead, isn't she? Tell Clud the truth. Clud? Yeah, she dead. She very dead. Hope. It is in Clud's heart. It feels warm and gentle. Aww. That's kind of nice. Wishes. Marina could feel it too. Oh, she probably doesn't feel it because Thank of her... You. Uh, 
Thank you man. so much. Zombo man. You are Clyde's best friend for the rest of your life. Clyde promises. Yay, we got so many friends. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, I guess she just didn't want to talk to us. I tried talking to her, but nothing. What did we get? We got Faye Somblance, Amulet, Intelligence, Wisdom, and nothing I use. I'm going to be honest, I wasn't going to show everything at first just because, like, when it comes to my storage, because I know a lot of people are going to be like, why don't you just sell it and do all these things? It gets to a point in the game where, like, I mean, again, this isn't the hardest difficulty. This is not even close to honor mode, so it might be completely different there where you really do need the money. This is the normal difficulty. So for me, like, money is so easy to come by and getting potions and everything, but... Look at all of this. People are just like, let me sell it. Let me organize it. Nah, mm -mm, no, sir. Not allowed. Get out of here. If I was going to make it to the end of this game, the next quest had to be finding Anzur the Dragon. With that said, I probably should have done this sooner because everyone at the castle was now on high alert. There goes the easy way in. There is so many people. Hopefully the invisible potion holds up because I think I have to get into the one of these passageways things here. All right. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, we should be fine. Visible potions are OP, man. Holy crap. Just walk by everything? That's how that works. Yeah. It says there's a passageway here, but I don't... I really don't see anything. I think for now, we kill the only guard here. I'll be right with you. I'm gonna kill this guard so fast. Sorry, not sorry. You started it. But the specific book read, and looking for this entrance, something awesome happened. Oh, 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 I did it, I did it, I did it. <laughs> Look at it. Look at the magic door. We're here, and ooh, they even have murals of the dragon. That's so cool. Wormway, let's do it. Oh, it's locked? Oh. Peril floods my province. The palisades fall, the earth does tremble. The servants of shadow and blood assemble. Beyond lies the grand worm, deep in slumber, awaiting a true hero's advent, should my domain drown in torment. Be you the deluge, turn away. Be you the hero, answer true. Are you worthy? Poetic nonsense. There is no worm and no saint. Ancient Ansor, hear me. A champion is proclaimed. The test begins. Let your judgment follow. Ooh, here we go. The judgment, the test. I'm ready. Woo, this place is fancy. As seen before, I was told that four trials needed to be met if I was to get closer to speaking with Anzur, a trial that asked of you to survive as long as one could. The second trial was the Chamber of Justice. This one was very different and had me confused for such a long time. This might sound stupid, I'm gonna be completely honest with you, but wait, what happened to Thrall? Oh, 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 my bad. I gotta put that back on. And then of course we lose HP, yay. Trying this. I don't know if this is gonna work. I hope it does. <laughs> it totally worked okay can i uh wait how do we the third trial though this one was by far the coolest one because it totally reminded me of harry potter all right let's try this i put it on the right side here oh it does move too look at that boom okay we could put it here take it but he's still gonna take us so that resets it take it he resets us Ooh. so right there <laughs> Friggin' did it, dude. Strategy destroyed. Last but not least was the fourth trial. All I had to do for this one was to go into combat mode. Trying to just catch books wasn't going to work, so throwing them onto the ground would be a nice touch. With all the trials completed and making my way towards the dragon himself, I had so many questions. What? Who killed the dragon? Oh my god. Oh! Oh! The dragon's spirit floods your mind and memory in a great torrent. This is so cool. He is with you. He is within you. He is you. I am Anzer. That spill from your mouth and not yours. Oh my God! I am Anzer, heart of the gate, butchered in flesh, risen in spirit.
Ansel wends his way through your mind like an unstoppable river. Your body is unmoving, yet thought flows effortlessly between you. The spirit pauses, and you feel the astral prism stir. Ansel senses the Emperor's presence. This is so cool. Oh my God. <laughs> Why have you come? Deep sigh resonates within you. The torrent stills, only disturbed by the dragon's next words. Brack, my words aren't meant for you. They're meant for him. The Emperor stirs in the astral prison, then in you. Calm, curious, and detached. <laughs> What's happening? Your presence has stirred me, as it ever did. I am awakened. Answer. It's been too long. Wait, yeah, you know each other? Once, long ago, we crossed the Kalim together and sailed the Altengra. We built a city by the sea. Answer was my friend. Oh my god. Friend. Yes. And more. Until you killed me. <gasps> you come to dance on my bones, Borderan. Was slaying me not satisfaction enough? Satisfaction? No. You left me no choice. You had every choice. You were becoming illithid. I offered you merciful death. You chose to fight. I knew he was bad. Oh my god. Now you bring your throne before me. Stillness. Oh my Azura's god. This is all oh, 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 answer so many things. above yours. Searching. Seeing. Dear answer. Enough. I gave you everything, Borderan. And you repaid me in slaughter. It is time I return the favor. Oh God, we're about to fight. My bones rise and the storms gather. Witness, Borderan. The final tempest has come. I am the heart of the gate. I am the one who roars. This time, you will not escape it. I'm gonna be honest, kind of cool. Oh. <gasps> We're straight up fighting him? No shot. Yo. Oh my god. Yo. We fighting Dragon of Baldur's Gate level 17? I can't even level up anymore. What do you mean 17? Get out of here. Yo, a 62 crit? Oh my god. This is gonna be sketch. Dragon's attacking. And now he's in the sky. Oh, everything's times two. Holy crap. Um. <gasps> I got an achievement? Wait until the dragon is midair, then knock it something? I got an achievement for stunning it out of that phase. Holy crap! I just stunned it out of the thingy! That's so hot. That is so hot. Yo, we stunned the big dragon. Oh, I didn't think I could do it. I was just like, you know what? Screw it. Let's just try it, you know? Boom, baby. Yo. Dragon done. Now we just have to kill these guys. <laughs> oh, wait. We get an extra reaction on you. Cool. Let's do a big boy attack here. Bap. And then another... Ah, we'll just hit another. Woo! So, I never thought I'd see him again. Much. I still don't trust him. He killed the dragon. You are more interested in my past. It's like I always told you. I was just like you. An adventurer who yearned for greatness. And in mortal terms, I achieved it. As captain of the Wandering Eye... I acquired enough gold to found Baldur's Gate. I stayed for a while, 
to watch my city. Oh, man. But it was not enough. I grew restless again. The sea cooled to me. And I ran to her with open eyes. Baldur's arms. Gate. Oh. <laughs> Life at sea was not easy. Our last adventure was ruinous. My ship was destroyed. My crew lost. But my spirit was far from broken. I was determined to return in triumph once again. I heard of treasure in Moonrise. I strove to find it. What I found was an illithid colony, where I acquired a tadpole much like yours, and became a mind flayer, enthralled to the Elder Brain. It was Ansor who found me. Ansor who pulled me from the Brain's domination. Ansor who brought me home. That's so cool. He sought to cure me of my sickness, called on every healer he could find, nearly broke his spirit in the attempt. But he failed to understand. I wanted no healing. I was not sick. Even after he had exhausted all possibility of reversing my condition, he still clung to hope. I tried to convince him of my reality. I was on the cusp of greatness beyond my wildest dreams. But all he could see was a mind flayer. He came to me as I slept. A mercy killing in his mind. I saw the tears. I felt his grief. I had no choice but to kill him first. It was an act of self-preservation. It was so sad to learn the truth and what happened and had me trusting the Emperor even less. What made this even harder though was finding a way out. I had four people but three invisible potions left. We're disguised, so can we be cool, right? Nope, we definitely didn't get disguised. Oh crap, okay. Oh, uh, what? Yo, I just realized something. Starion actually has invisibility at max level. What the heck? Because I only had three invisible potions invisibility potions right here supreme sneak blend into the environment so completely that you become invisible and it's as easy as that legit like that is insane pass without a trace look at that now with just the last few things to finish up the steel watcher location was next jumping onto some boxes buying my way in and finding my way through the hardest part about the fights was making sure to deactivate these things called the motivator they exploded after every full turn it also would have helped if i didn't just go in head first while trying to sneak by everything went as well as planned these big doors were a dead giveaway as to what was next okay hello hello fire watcher that doesn't look too hard, actually. Hey, right? oh, never mind. Uh, <laughs> holy crap. All right, so there's three Hellfire Watchers and a Titan of Industry. God dang. There we go. Okay, next, please. Whoa, holy crap. This is like some portal brain type thing. Oh, ho. shouldn't we run? Oh, I was going to say, okay. Run, 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 run. Run, it's going to explode. Woo, yeah, baby. Look at that. Oh, there was no time like the present then to go after the last nether stone. Gortash, here I come. Fighting my way through the stronghold here must have been one of the easiest fights ever. Clearing out the little deep hold and then those around the merchant area. The second floor to this place was a bit tougher because of the bombs and fire that would ignite them. This is where so many people died in... Well, I don't even know what happened. Because like when we were there with Gortash and he was getting put as like the new Archduke kind of person... Everyone was alive. Everyone was happy and cheering. We left, we came back, and they're kind of all dead. That's <laughs> freaky, man. That was the fastest kill ever. Holy crap. <laughs> also gotta move. Yeah, fire thing. With the last fight ahead of me, Gortash really had the balls to think I'd follow through with his dumb plan. 
This was your doing, wasn't it, Karlak? The destruction of my steel watch. Such a petty vengeance. Those things were evil. Just like their papa. To think I ever worked for you. <laughs> Proudly, too. I never meant to harm you, dear. Merely to help you realize your vast potential. You sent me to the Hells. You let Zariel take my heart. As though any of it was yours to give away. The greater good, Karlak. Something I wouldn't expect you to understand. You feel no regret, do you? All right. How about fear, then? Oh, you do quite misunderstand. I've already made a deal with your companion. We need each other. Do we now? You ought to reconsider. Divided, the Elder Brain will create an illithid army, yourself included in its ranks. Together, we can tame it. I'm sorry you feel wronged by how things ended between us all those years ago. But now we must look to the future. You make it sound like we were lovers. Or oh, friends. But that wasn't it. I trusted you. I respected you. It was my job to protect you. And that's what I did. I was so young. I didn't recognize evil when I saw it. When you turned on me, I was too dumbstruck to realize what was happening. No way he'd hurt me, I thought. He betrayed me for reasons I still don't quite understand. But I suppose evil has no real cause. It just is. Until it isn't. Oh, you utter brat. You're going to burn this place down. Good. No, you have to stop her. Do it now. No, I'm not stopping her. Let her burn this place down. Oh, he has a shield? What the fudge? Gortash has immunity to thunder damage, resistance to physical and elemental for one turn, an extra bonus action. Oh, just one turn though. Okay, that's not too bad. Oh. That looked like it hurt. Holy crap. Of course, you're throwing the bombs at us. Okay. Do it with that. Get some healing going. All right. Can I stun him, actually? That'd be awesome. Oh, we can and we will. Even with the shield, man, we're still killing this boy. This guy. This <laughs> Jeez. Oh, we're just going to straight up kill him. We don't even care. <laughs> okay. Watch this. Ta-da. We did it, guys. Gortash is... That was like a two-minute fight, if that. It's finished. It's done. I need to see him up close. I need to know he's dead. So Gortash is nothing more than a pile of flesh? Same as the rest of us. I feel like there should be a sunset for me to ride off into. Or an orchestral swell, or something but there's nothing is there i killed the bastard who ruined my life and my prize is that i get to crawl into a corner and die am i fucking missing something oh i'm beyond overwhelmed i'm i'm finished <sighs> he's dead and he's no fucking sorrier now than he was before what was the point? I'm still dying. I'm dying. I'm going to die. No. Oh. Got a miracle in your back pocket you forgot to tell me about. I'm going to be as dead as Gortash any day now. Any moment. And what then? Off to the City of Judgment to waste into oblivion? Into the dirt to get eaten by maggots? Is that it for me? Is that fucking all? And you, you'll just keep going, won't you? Watching the stars, warming your hands on the campfire, dancing, eating, making fucking love all night, all of it, all of it! That's my reward!
reward for everything I suffered. That's why I survived Jeez. ten years of torment. The fighting, the clawing, the loneliness. <laughs> the fucking loneliness. All of it so I could rot. Because the person I trusted the most gave me away to the devil. <laughs> It isn't fair. I don't want it like this. <laughs> Giving Carlac that break, I had to see if she was doing okay. You know, I wouldn't have bothered falling in love with you if I'd known saying goodbye would be so hard. I swear, I hope we get to save her. I really do. If they give me choices, I'm saving Carlac. I'm not. I'm just. That's my choice. I'm trying to stay here now alive while I can but it's like my mind is whittled down to the black hole that should have been our future God, you're so right and we are beautiful aren't we, mm -hmm. we really are this is, it's everything Ugh, I'm sorry I don't want you to be sad I mean I do but not too sad all that was left to do now was getting ready for this final fight. This little boat trip set the tone and left me speechless. Well, there goes the stones. Ooh. Oh my God, <laughs> this thing is insane. why you are here. You think that by killing the Chosen and taking the Nether Stones, you can destroy me. I sure can. You are wrong. No, I'm not. Let's see. Look at that. Oh, that looks so good. Oh, look at that. Oh. Oh. Looks like I'm inside some sort of like prison or cell. Oh! <laughs> Are you kidding me? That's the Nether Brain? An illithid so it's big? Messing with your mind. Don't listen to it. Use the stones. Master the full might of your physical form. Throw it into breaking through the brain's defense. Here we go. Oh, the power! Whoa, what are we doing? By eliminating Kethric, Orin, and Gortash, you have simply unbound me. Exactly as I intended. The crown is now mine to command. Mine alone. Don't this listen to it. Focus on the crown. It is what made me what I am. I needed the crown to build an army. I needed the chosen to bring it to me. They would not have surrendered it freely, so I gave them what they wanted. Power. I could see them taking that option Just for sure. enough that they would play their part in my design. Their part has ended. The next orders will be mine. That's not happening. This is so cool, though, man. Shit! No! It's all been leading to this! We stop the brain! Now! Uh, there's no way I'm stopping that! That is- what? That, what? Hello? That- <laughs> What is going on? Are you kidding? Am I being trolled? Am I being punked right now? Like, what's happening? It just looks so good. And here it breaks free.
That's sick. Oh, he saved us, I think. The Emperor. Look at this. Yo. Okay, I kind of trust him a little more. This is not over. Really? Okay. Wow. Uh-oh. They are about to see the nether brain. Look at that. Oh, 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 damn. How do we even get up there? Oh, the Nautiloid. Dang. This could honestly be like the first scene we saw in the beginning. Holy crap. Everything I worked towards yes. and went through led to this moment. You will give the stones to me. I will assimilate Orpheus, and then I will be able to leave this prison to face the brain. To face the choice the brain. was clear as day, and yet I couldn't choose the side with the Emperor. After everything I've done for you, I thought you understood the value of your freedom. When you destroyed the contract that bound you to deliver the crown. But now you insist on freeing the Githyanki and risking everything we work towards. I told you the Githyanki would only want to kill you for what you are. Still, you choose to break our alliance. I had hoped for better, but I can't say I'm surprised. That's right. It's always in your nature to give in to temptation. It's not temptation. Very well. I don't trust you. Since you will not work with me, you work against me. You leave me no option but to join with the nether brain. All that was left to do now was to set Orpheus free. Run back, run back, run back. Because I'd also like to send Orpheus back to the Gith Yankee to help with that whole feud going on. Ooh, that's so cool! As the Gith Yankee prince takes his blade, a silent cry pierces your head. It's unlike any sensation you've ever felt. You reek of illithid. Fornicated with a mind flayer. Why do we have to keep bringing that you up? Slaughtered my I wanted to go hentai for a second. Is that is that a problem? No do we have a problem with that? It seems we must be allies. Yes, we must. Here we go. Uh I am impressed by your courage. The Netherbrain wants nothing more than to see all infected become geek. My defenses keep the voice of the absolute out. But just as I can raise them so I can lower them. I will allow the voice of the Absolute in. Once it reaches you, it will order you to transform. It will only take a moment. And once you are a Mind Flayer, I will fold you under my protection once more. You oh, goodbye, Karlak. Goodbye. Empires. Goodbye in one way. My own. With the withdrawal of Orpheus's oh. power, Oh, with the full force of the nether brain. Oh, this is making me so anything you've ever known. Excruciating and exhilarating in equal measure. You wish nothing in the world but to evolve. Then complete silence. As you are once again closed off from the nether brain's mind. My people will remember you. The rebel illithid who I stood mean, beside their she got a wicked outfit and ended the grand <laughs> design. Let us return now to the city. 
and follow the path of the nether brain. Please tell me she still has like her. Oh, <gasps> look at that! She still has it all. Her. Oh, <laughs> that kind of looks sick, though. <laughs> that drip is sick. Yo, Carlac. Oh, yo, I'll go full tentacle mode for you. Yo, this is so good. Oh, <laughs> yeah, look at that. <gasps> There's another dragon in this game? Oh my god, that's Baldur's Gate, too. Jeez. I mean, I guess there are dragons in general, but like they're more just the average Joe. And there's the Elder Brain. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah, the Kithrak. Voss, my most loyal friend. How good to set eyes on you. You honor me. Your radiance. A gauge keeps you company. Unusual. An illithid in guise. An old ally in truth. She took this form so I might end the grand design. Skva! Can it be? Thanks to you. The skies above Tunarath shall tremble with Zahns. Orpheus will take the truth to the people. We will slay the Lich Queen. Our chains will be cleaved. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> we have lost much already. And we will lose more before the day is out. But even when the last soul falls, Baldur's Gate will stand. For Baldur's Gate is more than just a city. It is more than a place of opportunity for those of mercantile spirit. More than a place of refuge for those who are lost. More than a home for friends, loved ones, and adventuring souls. Baldur's Gate is a place where anyone can find what they need, if they're just willing to fight for it. Today, Baldur's Gate needs us. Today, we fight for... I knew it. Someone was gonna interrupt. What's happening. You're oh wait, this is us. Friend. This is the one you spoke of. The very same. The champion we've been waiting for. The one who will save Baldur's Gate from ruin. The fist examines your illithid ally with suspicion. He was not expecting the savior of Baldur's Gate to be accompanied by a mind flare. All right, where's appearances may change. Withers, mask, what? The one within. What are you doing this here? This one, I know. Observe with whom it traveleth, friends. This mind flare will fight with thee. It will save thy city and thy life. Oh, Withers is the main man. The first eyes are <laughs> lifted, ally with suspicion. Softening to curiosity, his hostility melting at the recognition that there's more behind those eyes than malice. My steel is yours, and I'm not alone. I have marshaled the best the Flaming Fist has to offer. We will fight to the last. The Moon Maiden's silver light. Oh, is this is so cool! I love toys. how everyone's coming together. Today, it is mine to wield. And I hold her. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever strength I have to and lend, Duke. I will lend it. I will make my city proud again. You can count on me, little. Oh spirit. hell yeah! <laughs> Yo, what? Where did this guy I'm come from? In the mood to crack some All right, easy there. Hold that. that fuckery in the temple of. Wait a minute, buddy. The city watch will be glad to oblige me. Not sure what Volo, okay. I love how it's bringing everyone fair, together like a big a cool team of like superheroes. Aww. Encouragement and reassurance will strengthen your uh, resolve. My dark forces are at your command today. We have a common goal. Let's do Glad this. Have you with us. And not a moment too soon. The air is thick with anticipation. Let's go, baby. All eyes are on you. They're expecting a speech. Something to stir their hearts and put fire in their bellies for the fight ahead. Our freedom depends on your bravery today. You are the guardians of the city. <laughs> yeah, yeah, 
yeah, yeah, yeah. Well set. Oh, that's so good. We'll prepare ourselves. That's so good. We'll be ready when you call upon us. Baldurin's grace be with you. While the plan was set in stone, the fights would be glorious and forever long. This one leading up to the set of double doors, inching my way closer to the Elder Brain. This next little part introduced a different mechanic, in which we had to avoid these big mortar strikes. Planning and positioning my team as best as I could, I made quick work with all those that came my way. Funny enough, it seemed that I could have just flown a single person to the top of this for the final fight, but hey. Wait, we actually made it? Okay, hello. Can I get the healies, please? Fire dragons are OP, man. Oh, that's the one with the cannons, I think. You better be. If it wasn't bad enough, this wasn't the last fight. There was also a big red dragon in front of me. There it is. The crown of Carsus. The site of power. The site of domination. Looks like that crown could use some nether stones. These things were ever going to work. It's now. All right, it's time. I wonder if we could call help with all the other people we haven't used yet, right? The Emperor! I always knew you were evil. You wouldn't have turned so quickly if he wasn't. You would have like been, ah, it sucks, you're crappy, but eh. I know you. I saw you in my dream. So oh, wow. The first attempt in and I did the best I could, but completely forgot about the summons for the extra beef and body. The second attempt was even close, but the third and final one, I felt a good rhythm go. I'm killing this dragon. If it's the last thing I do, and you know what? A stun with a kill. Oh damn. Actually, I think I gotta kill. Killed the dragon. Can you just fall over? Oh god. Now it'd be nice if the body would disappear because I can't really see this. My turn. <gasps> the portal's ready. Did it work? Did we get like our people in there? A sudden shift. The brain is oh. weakening. Its grasp of itself slipping. There's the thing. This is your chance. Bound, its will is stronger than anything you've ever felt. The chains shake, threatening to break at any moment. Oh, damn. Is that the nether brain? Like, it's an actual... Or, no, that was me. Or, I can't tell. I know that's the nether brain. Its will is weakened. Oh, there it is. Finish Holy crap. This. Okay, so, oh, maybe it's some sort of like bomb, concussive bomb, and it destroys the platforms. But we got to get closer to this thing immediately. Holy crap, okay. Which is terrifying if you think about it. Because what if one spawns down here? True strike on you. Let's do a bigger heal because why the heck not? Take two. We should be able to kill it now, which is awesome. Ooh. Ooh, behind, do you see the face behind it? <laughs> They're getting mad, yo. <laughs> you know what I need to do too? So, Karlak is good. I'm gonna go over here. Hold on, I'm totally gonna push my guy to a safe spot, see if that helps. Okay, you're over there. I can move over here. So hopefully he's on just enough there. <laughs> Carlike is over here. Um, let's just do a final attack. Let's do one more. One more. <laughs> oh! Nope. Killed it. Look at it. It's so disgusting. It's just like a mask on a brain. Reconsider. Assess. Implore. Surrender. Surrender. <laughs> Subdue. At last. That's it. This is its death rattle. It is going. Join me. Wield me. <laughs> 
even then it's like, oh, please. Did someone put a fork in it? This is it, Done. Soldier. This is what we fought for. Time to end this thing. Do it, Karlak. End it Brain right is on now. The cusp of its final thought. <laughs> and it's taking all of Karlak's strength to keep it I can there. see Karlak too, just like her face and everything. Oh. We could do it, you know. We could rule the world. I've come this far, Karlak. This is all yours. You got no this. Tadpoles bring. It's time to die. And I didn't even use a single tadpole myself. <laughs> my master. I must. Wait, obey. my master? Was it serving something I else? Must. What just happened there? Hopes, nightmares, and the screams of legions upon legions of unborn lipids. What is? Oh, the Nether Stones, racing all the existence pain through you, obliterating all thought, all feeling. A tadpole. A tadpole burns in your brain. <laughs> The crown of Karsis. I was hoping we could like destroy it as a final straw. Silence. For the first time in a long time, your thoughts are entirely your own. We and did it! We survived too! Gravity. <laughs> oh my god! Oh we did it, we did it, we did it. <laughs> That thing is this this taking a lot out with it. Including us. This is crazy though. Like oh, oh that was a journey and a half, man. I think I put in at least 80 hours for the single playthrough alone, which is crazy to me. Because I don't play turn based at all. And man, this like hit everything I wanted. Obviously, there were some things missing, still are, but overall, man, ho oh, oh, ho oh. Look at that, the elder brain is, oh god, run! <gasps> what about the tiefling? The brain is dead, guys, the brain is dead. Oh, jeez. Oh no, 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 no. Yeah! <laughs> That's right. Finish them off, guys. Finish them off. Yes! Charge! Oh. With my last day here, I had to enjoy this with everyone. Webcam and all. Everything okay. We are sharing Everything this moment together. Okay, guys. You're seeing me in my natural habitat. And we're, we're doing it. We're doing it. For this. <laughs> so good. So good. Oh, look, it's the main team. Huh. Uh. Victory. Our enemies are dust at our feet. My powers, they're draining. Just like Mazora said they would. A small price to pay in the grand scheme of things. 
We really did it. Oh, Carla. And here I was, worried I'd become some grotesque, deformed beast. <laughs> I would say no offense meant, but, uh, well, look at you. It's all right. I knew what I was doing. I'm glad we gave her a choice, though. I'm sure that all oh. know your name. She was amazing. And, and is. What you have done today will start a fire that rages across the astral plane. With their lost prince returned, my people will burn away Vlakith's corruption. And it is all thanks to you. The Illithid. It was. It was Karlak who did it. <laughs> I did, didn't I? I saved the fucking world. Yeah. And I think I might live long enough to tell the tale too. Yeah, you will. I thank you, my liberator, my savior. So many dragons. And the portals they go. My people are leaving, and I must leave with them. Come, Lazel. We will free the Githyanki and dismantle the Empire. Let them be imprisoned no longer. Then I must go with the prince. Which is fair. I will if I was from Antigar, I mean, it'd be a different story, but still. Chains. Your will still, is still, still. <laughs> Your name will be etched in our slates. You will be called Mlagir, Liberator. Orpheus. I don't know if I like the name, but eh. I am ready. It is what it is. What it is, is what it is. This is so good, so good. <laughs> Calling his dragon. Something just happened with my face. This game's been freaking out ever since. But I think. Just still, my liberator. Mm, bye, Lizelle. Bye. In, in the beginning, it's like she's like, okay, kind of cool. You like, learn to like her. She's like a sex addict. I'm like, cool, me too. With the Yankee gone, there's nothing left but the silence of the city, smoldering, waiting to be rebuilt. But then it's like she really grows on you as a character. That like growth mind <gasps> is elsewhere. She's looking for the curses. Well, it's somewhere in the Chiantha. If I salvage the stones, I can reforge it. He's still on that path? Why? The power of Carsus would be in my hands. I wish he was his own, like. It still seems he's like start trying to do stuff for Mistra. What would I do with it once I have it? Exactly. Dan, what do you do? Nothing. His power is not meant for mortals. Retrieve the crown. Give it to Mistra. She asked. No. Wear it and become a god. Perhaps it's best you leave it where it is. Yeah. A wise suggestion. I felt a hubris once before and landed myself with this orb. They could rather not make the same mistake again. If this adventure has taught me anything is that there are things in this world far more valuable than power. Besides, I'm growing quite fond of this merry band of ours, but I'd quite like to see what happens to it. I'm sure Mistra will summon me soon enough, but until then, I propose we celebrate our victory the mortal way, with a drink in <laughs> our hands and <laughs> reckless abandon in our hearts. <laughs> this has been so much fun. Oh my god. And I'm going to finish this video up and then people are going to be like, oh, you finally did. And I'm like, I know. <laughs> Celebration sounds perfect. We'll come back to rebuild, but a celebration, I think everyone needs some time to just like take in what's actually happened. Whatever our next step, we each have our own path to forge. Mine stranger than I ever believed possible. Imagine that. And yet. Karlak has an elected.
like a big movie at the end. I love it. It's over. And it's all because of you. You, who were destined to become a thrall. Thanks to you, there will be no illithid empire, no death god's tyranny. You have earned your place amongst the legends of the Sword Coast. <laughs> you are the saviors <laughs> of Baldur's Gate. And the music, goosebumps. <gasps> Am I getting some tentacle tonight? <gasps> I'm actually getting goosebumps. I mean, you trade it up. Soldier. What's up? What's good? You seem so different now. How do you feel? You were every bit as beautiful now as you always were. Oh, oh, do it. Thank you. But beauty no longer concerns me. This vessel, this flesh, is but a means to experience the depths within and without. I honestly feel that. Like, she has her own story now, new. Before, all I cared about was survival. Now, I think I'm ready to live. Oh! This one is like, you're keeping her too close. You need to give her space. And this one's like... I want to say it, and then this one's just like, this is where we part ways. But what if she's not thinking that? I don't know that yet. You will be a helpful partner in my exploration of what it is to be, to be alive. I I will miss the Edfer like the Inferno. I mm. Those fires would have consumed me, and you, perhaps. But I promise to find Aww. new and interesting ways to keep you warm. That's adorable. This is only the beginning, my love. We will reach heights of which our former selves could not conceive. At your side, I have learned to make peace with death, to accept new life. To conquer all that stands in the way of us and our destiny. We are indomitable, and the life we lead will be legendary. <laughs> Let us begin. Together as one. Oh, yes. Yes. Six months have passed since you defeated the Netherbrain. And since then, you have seen more of life than you ever thought possible. You are greeted as a savior, a champion, a hero. But sometimes you feel like something else entirely. An adventurer, a traveler, ah. a survivor. Imagine if there's more you content. Face down the gods. There'd be like two new games right here. Design. Anything seems possible. Or add like New Game Plus where we can go back in and explore the rest of Baldur's Gate and everything else the map has. Story. Ah. You must end this one. Oh, I don't want to end this. I actually don't. Oh, this is starting to feel like a really good movie or TV show where I, I have this bad habit. I'll watch to the end and I don't watch the last episode or last part of the movie. I don't like endings. They make me way too emotional. Uh -uh. Oh, she's here through um the Thou mirror thing. Wert called here, some from above, it does. some below. For with thine bond, together thou hast kept the wheel of fate spinning when it threatened to halt. Though thou wert drawn far apart in the months after the collapse of the absolute, tonight fate renews thy bond once more. Thou shouldst take care to preserve it. It is a great weapon 
wielded in the hand of mm. good. Go. Know one another once more. And I like the, um... They all come to... What's it called? A reunion of sorts. Oh, look at it. Melil playing music. A shadow heart. Ooh. Starting to wonder if you'd show up. Well, hello to you too. Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> um, Shadowheart, isn't it? Hilarious. <laughs> you could find work as a jester if you stumble upon a noble with more gold than taste. In fact, I found a nice meadow not far from where I live now. Every now and again, I'll spend the night there. Mm -hmm. For old times' sake. It seems like they're all living their lives now. Well. Trudy. And I couldn't be happier for you. A fitting reward for the sacrifices you made in getting here. I've told my students plenty of tales about our escapades. You're something of a hero to them, you know? I'd be delighted to introduce you to my current cohort as a guest lecturer, perhaps. I'm sure they'd have plenty of questions for you. I feel like I just kissed her nose. Oh, it's just like cute little kisses. <laughs> oh. There's no way I could leave Karlak. Oh my god. Enjoy the revelry of the day. Thou deservest at least that much. What indeed? Prick up thy ears and listen. I'm listening. Oh, that's it? Me? The balance of the world uh. restored. The balance of these lives, mortal and otherwise, brought to account hear me thou heroes wastrels friends i have waited long to tell you these words it is over for now goosebumps thou played thy part in weaving the fabric of fate yo you can't do that to me Larry. <laughs> For now, what? So did the gods unravel another. Sleep, rest, revel, but be ready. For thou mayst yet <laughs> need it. Until we meet again, I wish thee every possible fortune, health, wealth, love, and above all, Problems worth solving to you. Hmm. <laughs> All's well that ends well. Finish the game with a heartfelt thank you from Larian Studios. They actually put that in the achievement too. <laughs> <laughs> there thou art, oh, wait a minute. The dead three. Thy faces, gods. Wait, what? Thy actions barely worthy of the name. Didst truly believe thy ploy would succeed? Didst believe I would not notice? What? Thou sought to bolster thy strength by taking away the souls of mortals. But souls vanish when their hosts become mind flayers. Didst think the other gods would not notice? Gods thou may be, yet thou hast proven thyself fools, everyone. With that said, I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video, hopefully enjoying this and joining me for the second half of the story, the journey that took place here. This this was a lot, a lot to take in. It, it was weird because like it's it's one area, very condensed, very packed of stuff to do. It was just so small. 
like it for me it felt really small for some reason like i was just in one area in my head with like act one it was like its whole place you went there and there <laughs> oh my god i don't even know how to end this video okay well with that said i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching as always i just appreciate everything all the support to the comments to just enjoying what i've done so far i love your faces so much each and every single one of you i really really do and i will see you in my next video and or live stream until then, check out this video or this video, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Bye, everybody.